Health Organics, our skincare line that also helps people. We donate to researchers working on ways to save the bees. We need bees. They pollinate our food. Bees give us honey, used in ancient times to heal the skin. Now modern science has discovered honey's anti-aging power. Our organic holistic honey blend is in all of our products. Remember the wonderful honey from our organic farm in Maine back in the 70s? Sure. When we built that energy-efficient house, caring for Mother Earth has always been important to us. At Beeceuticals Organics, we use organic honeys, organic botanicals, and fair trade ingredients. Beeceuticals products nourish the skin and hair. Get Beeceuticals skin care products at healthfromthehive.com. That's healthfromthehive.com. Okay, Julie, we're done now. Let's go upstairs and pollinate. Get out of here. <laughs> Now, Power 101 presents The Jay Thomas Show. Call 888-STERN-101. The Jay Thomas Show. This, this, this is The Jay Thomas Show on Howard 101. I'm gonna party like a rock star in a bunch of strip bars. Wake up naked in a hotel room. Throw the TV out the window. Smoke a bunch of endo. Anything you get from blind up to you. Like a rock star. It's bring your illegitimate kid to work day on the Jay Thomas Show for Howard 101. Uh, the studio band today will be my uh, son, JT. Uh, the band uh, JTX is in town uh, for the weekend. And so um, uh, JT, uh, Kevin Wilson, uh, Matt Van, and Kerry Weaver uh, will be um, in the uh, fishbowl in New York. How you doing? I'm Jay Thomas from uh, Los Angeles. And call us at 888-783-7610. It's Stern 101. Uh, Madison is there. Hello. Uh, how are you? So so we're going to have like a studio band, you know? Like, know. you know? Listen to that. Is it, it's amazing. It, you, it's live and all that. Yeah, there you go. There he is. There you Madison, go. Garrett, I always wanted to have wait, a talk what did he show. Say? What did you say about me? What? He's singing everything. I think it's your... By the way, it's uh, Madison's birthday. Uh, of course, you know, I don't like to celebrate that well, stuff. Well, I do. People love that, so happy birthday uh, to you. Thank and you. Do you say your age? Is that a big deal? Yeah, that... I think I look pretty good for my age. I think I'm getting better with age. Not today, mm-hmm. right now, I mean. Why do people even say things like that? That's like the what? other question. Well, I look good for my age. I think I, I do, I because better. I was really a, quite a troll back in the day. Why don't you allow people to make that decision on their own, how you look? Uh, I could do that, too. All right, because I think that's a lot better. But Because all of a sudden now, we all have to think you look good. <laughs> I, I'm 36 today. Oh, that's congratulations. That's great. I don't single. understand why we make it. Do- now, and you'd You're like right. to be Age married. Age is just a number. Age sure. is just a number. I feel like I'm 50. Okay. Can I get a drum uh, roll? <laughs> sure, absolutely. <laughs> so, but, but, uh, but do you have a, a plan tonight? Is there a, a birthday party or something? That uh, you're gonna... Just having dinner with some girlfriends and uh, a boy that mm-hmm. I might like. So you're going to bring the guy with these women? Yeah, yeah. And you're going to sit there with the guy and the women? <laughs> He's Jesus. Just, he's just a friend. But he's friends friends with two of the girls at okay. coming to dinner. All it's right. all good. It's all good. I'm getting my hair did. I done? <laughs> get my, get my hair done and, uh, you know. Well, listen, good luck. I hope you, you know, catch a guy or whatever you want and happy birthday and all that other shit. And um, should we sing happy birthday? We have the studio band there. Do you guys? Now, the bands, the normal bands know happy birthday. I don't even know if you, you do that. Hey, hey Ma- can you hear me, Jay? Song in the yeah, world. I can hear Madison, I thought you were coming to our show tonight at Arlene's Grocery well, in New York I City. I didn't know about it until too late, and I, I made a plan with some, some girlfriends. Well, What's understand. the name of the. Wait a second. <laughs> What's the name of the place you're playing uh, tonight, JT? Uh, Arlene's Grocery. It's on Stanton in New York City. Uh, we go. Is on that a- like a good gig? That's it's a, a great, great gig, gig, man. It's the oh, best it place is? in town. All right, I don't know. I'm hey, just, uh, just, uh, 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 J- JT, I forgot your name for a minute. Uh, you could stop by the afterwards. We could hang out. Cool. Where, oh, tell people where Arlene's Grocery is uh, in, it's in on, New York. Uh, it's on Stanton. That's that's all I know. Maybe somewhere in uh, like Soho. Stanton and Ludlow, I want to say, maybe. Yeah, we go on at 8 p.m. sharp. And we went to uh, Scores the other night, and uh, a lot of those girls are coming down. So if you're in New York and you don't even care about the music, come down to uh, meet all the girls. And I'm not joking. Arlene's, Arlene's Grocery. 
these places that just doesn't sound it's like a, a cute, big deal. No, it's a cute little venue. You know, is it a good it's place? Not, like fancy it or good? anything. It's kind of now. Do you guys exciting. make money uh, for this gig? Sure. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I'd like to see this. I'd like to see this like career pay much. off. Uh, so, uh, for those who may not know, uh, many many years ago, oh, I, I had a <laughs> I had a child, and uh, he was in my way. So I I tossed him into the <laughs> trash heap of life, and he was dug out by some wonderful people in Michigan, uh, 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 Larry and Kendra Harding, dug him out of a trash heap, and brought him home and Called swatted Florida. him close. That's right. Swaddling clothes. Oh. And they uh, raised him. They're, they're his parents. And then uh, years later, um, this uh, this guy moves to Los Angeles, where I was the, the disc jockey and the actor and all that. And um, we, the, uh, the biological mom uh, found you. Yep. And then the next thing you know, um, you and I met, right? Yeah. It's been good ever We've, since. And then, but you had li- you had kind of run away from home, hadn't you? Didn't yeah, well, you, I just really leave a to... note or something. I'm leaving. Shuli in the house. <laughs> Speaking you. of run away, Shuli, uh, we're telling the illegitimate kid story. It's yeah, going to be um, a heartwarming I... version of the Jay Thomas show. Yeah, uh, yeah, I had a great childhood, but I wanted to do uh, you know rock and roll, so I moved to uh, yeah, kind of ran away to Los Angeles. Yeah, but no, wait a minute, you left a note on the kitchen table. Mm-hmm. Like at night when you're like 16 or 15 years old, that you were going to move by yourself. To Los uh, Angeles, I had two hundred dollars right, from, from Michigan. From Michigan, and and your dad was, uh, you know, Larry was a big, you know, tough guy. I would have, you know, me, and I got the, the the two boys now that I the two I care about and I kept. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, uh, yeah, no, but let's say let's say that your little brother uh, uh, Jake leaves a note. And he runs I off. I go someplace. out there and get him immediately and bring him home. Exactly. Wait, so, did you graduate high school? I did. Yep, in okay, California. Good, 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 good. No, but you had to go G, GED oh, and all that. Oh, that's shameful. At least I didn't no. go G A Y. That's exactly oh. right. But now listen, J T, <laughs> just sing. I know. I know you think you're funny. Just sing today. Well, he promised me. And, the and I don't know how to break it to you. And I'm sure that you know Kevin and Matt and Carrie don't want to tell you because they're in the band and you might make it. But you're not as funny as you think you are. Okay. But here's the deal. Here's the thing. Is so. And did anyone travel to to pick you up? I would have been first of all mad, pissed off. I'd have said, "What do you think you're doing?" And dragged your ass back. Did somebody drag uh, you back? My mom was going to, and my dad said. Kendra, uh, you just have to let him, you know, do what he's going to do, and uh, it, it'll all work out. So that's kind of uh, how it happened. And do you I would, think maybe they didn't care? Um, no, that's just you. <laughs> no, no. Did you think maybe? Did you think maybe that they said, you know, look, he's been nothing but trouble since the day we found him in the dumpster, and now he's finally left, and maybe this is our chance to. And then you only had the one brother left. Yep. Did you did you think about taking uh, your brother Lance with you? No, it was, you know, it's getting him off did the couch. Did you tell him? Um, yeah, I did tell him, actually. He was like, okay. <laughs> you know? He was like, fumble, and he went right back to the the Michigan State game. You're right. So he didn't he didn't give a shit. So you go off, and you and you live in a little apartment with a buddy of yours, and your mom came, but no one took you home. No, no one took me home. Wow. Yeah. Well, and they let out. you stay. They let me stay, yep. And I got a job at Tower Records. We used to come in and shop, and I didn't I even should... know you were my dad. Isn't that weird? You would be like hammered with Don Buckwald. That's right. And you're like come a purple, you had like a purple velour suit on. I oh, must have come from the Rickles show. Yeah, exactly. Hey, you know what? Hey, Shuley, if I'd have known as my kid, you know I'd have gotten that, that uh, family discount. Uh, you know, that's one of the reasons why well, I would I could picture you at like 1230, <clears throat> drunk, yeah. getting on the PA system going, my son works here, where's my discount? That's right, right. So Shuley is here, it's Madison's birthday, and JT, wow. uh, my son, by the way, the whole story apparently is in the U.S. Uh, US magazine uh, this week. What, about Madison's and, uh, birthday? Yeah, that's good. And about no, no, what? about about the illegitimate uh, really? the son Us thing. Magazine, yeah, Us Magazine. Does it say that you're on Sirius Stars 102 and Yes, 101? it says it says all of that. All that, and yeah. it has all of that in there and stuff. Oh, that's and great. so his career is kind of uh, taken off. And so they called me and they said. Um, what what are you what are you up to? And I said, well, you know, um, you give a child up for adoption. Obviously, you didn't you didn't want to keep it. And the person is dead silent on the other end of the line because people make adoption and giving kids up such a big fucking deal. And <laughs> well, let me tell you something, It's just Jay. not a big deal. You've got it's- like the fundamentalists probably like really on your side because you didn't abort. No, I'm pro-choice, yeah, which means you right. make a choice. Right. I'm now, pro-life, obviously. He is. Yeah, he's pro-life. Obviously. He's, you know, he, uh, now, he, you did ask me once that I think about uh, an abortion, and, and I did. Oh. 
I did think about abortion. And um, as I came <laughs> at the here? woman, as I came at the woman, I, I, what I did was I got a coat hanger and I had a and oh. I had a lighter, and I and I was I sterilized the end of the coat hanger. And I was coming at her, and she fought me off, J.T. Did she have a trash can lid as a shield as well? Yeah, she had, you know what she did? She used a plastic <laughs> trash can lid, yeah. surely. So, but um, so but all sorts like of discussions. Listen, it's tough. You know, I, I remember I dated this chick for a while, like a year and a half. <clears> and then, you know, I get this call out of the blue. I haven't talked to her in months. And I get this call. And you know when you get a call and you recognize the person's voice after one word and nothing but horrible memories flash back into your mind? Well, when I heard, when I yeah, you're right. Yeah. When, I heard, when I heard that the little bastard was two blocks from my house, <laughs> uh, think how I, and my career was just taken off. Were you off. afraid, Jay, that he was going to come for you for money? You know what I thought? I thought he'd be one of those uh, people with the, uh, the the mohawk that went really really high and the thing in their ear and fucked up because they've been given away. That's what I thought. Oh. I told you when we met. I said, just so you know, I've, I've had a great life and I don't need any money or anything. He said, good, I don't have any. I've been married five times. We're getting a DNA <laughs> test. <laughs> <laughs> but Did I you remember, get a DNA test? And he had Rodney spy on me. That's a true uh, story. We'll, we'll tell a story in a minute. Yeah, okay. go ahead, Julie. Go ahead. No, but I was just saying, I, I remember this call from her and, and oh, okay. I pick up the phone and I'm like, hello. And, and all I hear is Shuli, and just every <laughs> shitty memory flies oh, yeah. back, and and I'm just silent. Yeah, you came inside her that one time, well, and I'm that. silent, and she follows it up with "I'm pregnant." Oy. And you know how hard it is to make uh, to go from hello to "We're not in right now." Leave a message because you got one shot to make the beep sound real. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to fuck it up. So I well, you know, George again. Carlin did a great uh... bit. Uh, this, uh, you know. He's sitting at home one day, and the phone rings, and the woman says, "George, it's it's me, Susie." And he goes, "Yeah, Susie, how are you?" <laughs> well, I'm. Remember, you said I was a good sport. Yeah. Well, I'm pregnant. Uh huh. And I'm going to kill myself. And he goes, "Well, you are a good sport." <laughs> you know, it's an old bit. But you know, um, it, it, what happens is is that you meet somebody and you date them, and. And and believe it or not, I was not the most you know sexual uh, individual, and and so I don't even know that we were having a great sex life or anything. So he didn't even come from like a really great evening. You know? <laughs> no pun intended. Well, no, but seriously, you did not. It wasn't like a memorable night or anything. It just you know I remember her you know just laying there, putting her hands over her chest, turning her head and saying, "All right, go ahead." Yeah, like Pharrell, so, Pharrell's first kid, uh, they co they conceived it at Talladega at the Speedway in the. <laughs> In the pits <laughs> during no. the races. Yeah, absolutely. That's Come on. I read an article once that if you um, uh, 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 made love in a hot tub, it, it elevated the uh, temperature of your testicles to the point that it killed the sperm. <laughs> Uh, I now have a class action suit against this jacuzzi bastard. Uh, yeah. Because... Uh, False I advertisement. Hot... <laughs> yeah, when I was single, Shuley, you can have this line. I used to turn, when the, the AIDS epidemic was happening, I would turn the hot tub up to 212 and boil them before I did anything with them. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, so anyway, so JT moves to uh, uh, to uh, Los Angeles, and he's a kid. And where did you get a job? You weren't even old enough to have uh, a gig. Where did you work? Um, the Cat and Fiddle restaurant on Sunset. Um, um, yeah. I used to I, go Sean in there Penn, all Sean the Penn time. was like one of the first guys I waited on. I was like, this is trippy. He wanted a How beer. Was he? he was great. He wanted a beer at like 9 in the morning. I said, let's give it to him. We'll see what happens. But and you were only like uh, 16 years no, old. Se just... like 17. And they gave you, um, they, 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 they let you serve liquor? Um, yeah, well, I was like a you know, busboy waiter. You know, I used to go in there because uh, Power 106 was right up the street from there. Exactly. And people and have probably CNN heard the story. Building. There was a giant billboard of Jay, and I did not know him, didn't know he was my father. I was on all the buses. Right, right outside of the window in a gigantic, we had a woman's body on with a big tutu, and it said, we apologize for Jay Thomas. That's great. Right. Because so, Howard was kicking your ass then, too, right? No, Howard had not started kicking my ass yet. Um, all right. And by the way, I guess the things that I've said have made you want to hurt me all of a sudden. <laughs> no. Um, but no, Howard We're excited. Actually, We're in New York. We're serious. He was still in New York, and I had uh, I left New York, and I was I was in you know L.A. like you know almost ten years. So I was there and, and working in there, and so they put all these pictures up and stuff. And so finally, I get this phone call. And I say to the woman, I go, look, you know, great hearing from you and all of that, but I have no interest in hearing from this kid or hearing from you or anything else. And she says to me, you haven't changed a bit. I said, you know what? You haven't even, you haven't seen me in years. And I didn't know you that long anyway. And it all worked out because, you know, aren't you glad you're not attached to me? Right. So finally, um, they say, well, 
I talk to JT, and he sounds like a nice enough kid. And I go to my my wife, and I say, you know, this fucking kid, you know, lives nearby, and blah blah blah. And so, uh, so I I say, well, we should meet someplace. What did I say? We have to meet in a, in a place where there's a lot of people around. And then what? Didn't what I said? Yeah, I we went to, to like a like a fat burger or somewhere. I'll never forget. We walked in. <laughs> what are you dropping wow, off you're... a ransom or meeting your kid? No, nice you know what? Time. First of all, no, we <laughs> met Shuli. I was doing a. I guess I was doing Love and War. Uh-huh. So I call Rodney. It'd be like if I call you. I go, Shuli, listen, my illegitimate son has found me, and you. <laughs> and tonight I am going to have two seats at the sitcom. He's not going to know that you know me, and you're going to sit in this seat in the kid to your left will be uh, uh no someone next to you will be my illegitimate child so a, a a really a large black woman sits next to rodney and he goes listen man i think this is this isn't going to turn out well for you i said no that's not it so then um he i like how you said to him to spy, like that's a frank sinatra move when he t- he'd tell like he'd tell steve and edie gourmet be like listen steve edie i need you to stake this kid out that's right. So he comes back. Rodney's backstage. like, "Yes, sir, Mr. Thomas." <laughs> Rodney, Rodney comes back joke. and he says, "He says I'm sitting next to you." He says, "I'm sitting next to you." And then I met JT. We shook hands like over the like over a railing, didn't we, JT? Yeah, you, you kept me kind of separated from you. <laughs> I was in the audience. You kept him in the adopted section. <laughs> and then we then we went to Fat Burger. And uh, I remember we walked in. You know, my name is John Thomas. Jay's real n- name is John Thomas. We walked into the Fat Burger, and there was a kid I knew in there, and he goes, JT. And we both turned around. It was just kind of <laughs> odd. Yeah. And, and, that was and then the next day, Jay was like, hey, man, can you uh, house sit for me? And, uh, you know, I could watch the cars, and we're going on a big vacation. I just started staying at your house. It was great. And then we your mom pay, thought I was going to kill you. We used to pay uh, people to stay, to stay at our house, and we left and wash the cars and watch the house and feed the dogs and all of that. Well, my illegitimate son showed up. Mm. So uh, within a week, uh, you know, he was house sitting, but we didn't want to tell anybody uh, that 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 I was his dad, and because he, you know, his mom and dad are Larry and Kendra; those are his parents, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And and do, do, can your band play like kind of a special music that would be the special portion of the Jay Thomas show, like on those, like when you're on a talk show and the, and it's Oprah has a good person, you know, like a sad kind of a, a thing. very special blossom. <laughs> And here's something I want to say to everybody out there. Parenting has nothing to do with the sexual side of it. That your seed went into the, the, the ovary and, and made the thing, and then it went in the fallopian tube, and, and, and it pushed out of the hole has nothing to do. It's the people that raised the child and drove the child to school and stayed with the child. When the, is it, Don't you have any music that would go with this speech? Parenthood. Parenthood has nothing to do Parenthood. with the, the the sex act. The sex act. Okay, that's it. That didn't work at all. <laughs> uh, anyway, well, look, that's good. I, I'm uh, I'm glad you're here. You're, you're doing. We've been we've been together for like oh ten ten years or so. We've known each other for a long time. You're a great uh, brother to the kids and yeah. uh, and all that. And they they said to me at this uh, Us Weekly, they said what. Uh, what what do you think is a uh, how are you two alike? They said the, you you didn't raise the kid yet. Everyone says you two are very much alike, and you kind of uh, fool around and you're sarcastic or or whatever. And I said I think that had he not been uh, a kid that looked like he was going to be successful, and had I looked like I wasn't kind of a successful guy, I don't think either one of us would have given a shit about the other one past that first night at the uh, fat. Fat burger. You think that's true? Uh, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you said to me, yeah, if you had earrings and the long hair and all that and uh, tattoos, you, you wouldn't be hanging out with me, you know. And I didn't I say something like, well, if you, <laughs> uh, if you were an out of work plumber, I wouldn't be hanging around your house. Exactly. Or something like yeah, that. that's true. We were kidding I mean, around. And and I think that that, well, that well, is one in of you your was. DNA. Yeah. <laughs> surely, huh. surely that that selfishness is in your DNA. Absolutely. And when I saw that selfishness, you know what? Can you play that music again? That, that selfishness. Play, man. When you saw that, when I saw that selfishness, I knew this was the man that I wanted to be with. <laughs> hey, so JTX is here. Uh, Thanks. And the guys that are with him, of course, are uh, Kevin Wilson, Matt Van, and and Kerry Weaver. Arlene's Grocery is uh, at Stanton and and Ludlow at eight o'clock tonight. And I think you're over at. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you're going to be... Cha-Cha's uh, in uh, Coney Island tomorrow night. Cha-Cha's in Coney Island. Maybe and, I'll come and, to that one. Cool. Yeah. Shirley, are you uh, available uh, this weekend? To, I'm, to uh, go- I'm gigging Saturday at uh, mm-hmm. my girlfriend's niece's birthday party. 
Are you <laughs> we'll really? Come on out tonight, no, surely. Oh, oh. Where, where are you playing Ch- tonight? Arlene's oh. Grocery, um, and at eight o'clock sharp, <clears throat> and Cha Cha, who does the uh, Wise Guy Show here, invite us over to his cafe in Little Italy. You're kidding me! You're going to Cha Cha's cafe in Little Italy? Everything on the house. He said, I'm not joking nice. around. For all, for how did all you meet him from from the Wise Guys? Um, he heard us on your show, which leads me to say, <laughs> seriously, uh, since we've been on Sirius and since Jay, you've let us come on the Howard Stern Show, I wanted to say thanks because mm-hmm. a lot of the fans. Fans have bought my single, I'm going to party like a rock star on iTunes. There was like a huge sales spike, so thanks to everyone. All right. Uh, cool. Lovely. Good. Uh, uh, also, in a few minutes, uh, as crazy as it sounds, uh, Art Sears uh, realized he, he helps book the guest here. I said, you know, I'm having my son on, and he's gonna, he and his band are going to kind of be like the studio band for the, for the morning show. He says, well, you know, my sister-in-law sings the national anthem. I said, well, you know, it's not really that kind of a theme uh, thing. That's the only thing she sings? <laughs> no, I, she actually... Is it our think, national anthem, or is it La Marseillaise? Yeah, that's a very good one. French. I didn't ask. I didn't ask which national anthem she sang. But she apparently has been in her um, garage, surely at Madison and JT and Garrett and Sean and the <laughs> other people, uh, in her garage for three years wanting to sing the national anthem at a Red Sox game oh. and has been sending them uh, emails and letters and and asking if just in one of the 182 games, whatever they play, 190 games, please let me sing the national anthem. And, and the, Red tonight, Sox, the Red Sox won't play a game in her garage? I don't understand. They won't. Tonight, she is going to sing the national anthem at Fenway Park in Get Boston. out of here. Wow. It's the dream of a lifetime, and this is why it's going to happen. Art Sears, uh, uh, who books our show, does a thing in Boston called the Jimmy Fund, which is a cancer uh, thing for kids, and right. I've done it with him. And they got Bill Cosby to throw the ball out, and last year they had Trump, and he kind of does it. Then he said, hey, I've got David Cassidy to sing the national anthem, and the Red Sox said, we don't want him. Good. We don't want David Cassidy. So, so Art's now suddenly stuck. I'm a Red Sox fan after you that know, statement. He's now stuck, and he he gives them some other people. And they don't want these other. They just you know don't want these people. So he doesn't know what to do. So he he calls his sister in law and he says, "Can you sing the national anthem at the Red Sox game? Because this is probably the last day I'll be doing this uh, promotion." And so I said, "Let's make it a big deal so that you don't lose your job." And we'll say that she and this is true has always wanted to sing it, so she'll come on in a little while and uh, and do it. Well, okay? is she good? I have no idea. Jay's going to come I on don't and say know. she sucks. That's what you know what it's like. Can we, we ask don't her have... if she's going to grab her crotch? No, she's not going to do any of that. You don't no, know that. she's not going to do any of that. What story. if we ask her to? No. I like how they're not. like, uh, we have David Cassidy or Salami from the White Shadow <laughs> to sing the national anthem. I, I think, I, t- to be honest, uh, I believe she might even be a professional singer okay. that is kind of retired or something. But I don't know what you have dreamed about, but like JT's dream of being a rock and roll star and, 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 and write music and stuff. Uh, by the way, um, when the Randy Owen uh, song uh, comes out... Uh, 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 like I never broke her heart, which is the the lead singer from Alabama, right? JT, uh, yep. he's singing your uh, your song that you wrote uh, off of his uh, off of his CD, right? Uh, yes, he is. Yeah, I wrote a song called "Like I Never Broke Her Heart," and it just happened to get its hands into some country people, and he put it on his right. record. It's uh, it's out right now. It's doing pretty well, actually. Hey, okay. That's Can you awesome. sing some of that? Sure. What is this? I met him the other night. He was really nice, actually. Right. Well, he's worth five million dollars, five billion dollars. Do you get paid good? Well, look at her with you. Her eyes are shining. She looks brand new. Last time I saw, it's really small. Thing. She was falling apart. Well, you should have heard my version. I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's country. It's country. It's American. I don't relax. So. <laughs> so you wait a minute. Turn this up. You wrote this. You wrote this. I did, but mine was more of a rock version. And they did their own kind of thing to it. It's so impressive to me, man, to write. Well, no. A song. Well, turn it up. Turn it up. Now, it sounds like a real country record. When you're writing it, are you thinking it's got to sound like a real country record? It's got to have no. like a train wreck in it? Is it does no. his mother get thrown from a train somewhere? In the... <laughs> you want to write a song with a guy with a bulldog tattoo will start crying. That's yeah, exactly. that's your goal for a country song. <laughs> I, just, uh, I just write them and let them sort them out, you know? You know what? There is a country song out there that tells how you write a country song. It was a hit a long time ago. Um, somebody will know it. It says it has to have your mama in it. Mm-hmm. It has to have a train whistle, right? Mm-hmm. So we'll David do that. Cole. 
Uh, oh, Kevin, yeah. Kevin just said it. David Allen Coe. Yes. Thank you, Kevin. We'll play that in a minute. But um, before David we Allen go, Coe, well, never mind. Uh, we were listening last night to the Beatles, right? And so Ringo sang a song on the whatever the, the CD was. Jesus. Now, since he didn't write many of the Beatles records, how does Ringo, how did he become so rich, JT, if the money, I know he did it with the, but they haven't toured in forever. Wow. If he didn't write, or any, it doesn't get any of the publishing of the Beatles records, how, do, how is he working? Worth millions and millions of dollars. Well, they they split. Uh, art, I'm guessing they split the artist royalties four ways. Every time they sold the record, they split it four ways. But then John and Paul made money from the songs. I mean, it's too boring to get into the technical. But would it be like ten times more money for being the writer than yes. than the perform? Oh wow! If you sell a record, let's say there's four guys in it. You each split a dollar, and then if you write a song, you get. Uh, they probably got ten cents per song, so they sold millions and millions of records. I mean, think like about that. if he concerts got, if, and all that. If he got mm-hmm. like publishing rights, like JT, he does Right? If he would have, he, we wouldn't have to have him put together an all star band <laughs> exactly. every three years to do some shitty tour. You know, he really is a nice guy. But I, I Thank was you. on Letterman one night, and he was on there, and I thought he was absolutely horrible. <laughs> and they were all clapping and all. Isn't he lucky? Because he Pete wasn't meant best, to be the. I mean, he wasn't right. the frontman, so. Did Pete Best hang himself? How did he die? No, he Pete didn't. Best. He's still alive. He, I, I think I think he's still alive. I could be wrong, but he went to therapy and wrote books and everything. And you oh. know, he saw he saw them get you know. Gigantic. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, uh, you're sure. you're Pete Best, all right. Mm-hmm. You have a choice of either living the rest of your life with flashbacks about being in the Beatles and losing mm-hmm. that opportunity. Or Vietnam. Which do you choose? Which flashback do you live with the rest of your life? Beatles. Really? God. No, I don't know. I'd almost want to see a village burned uh, than to think of all the money I lost. Hey, uh, uh, the Jay Thomas Show at Stern 101. Uh, JTX is here. Uh, it's uh, uh, 888-783-7610. Uh, yes, John of Louisiana, the Jay Thomas Show. How are you, John? Morning, Jay. How are you doing today? Good, sir. Thanks. Where do you live in Louisiana, my home state? Shreveport. Hey, now. Boy, what a shithole uh, that is! Yep. Is that a, is that any better than it used? Is that any better than it used to be? There's a ton of uh, movie money in there now. Have you met any movie stars? They're doing a lot of movies in Shreveport. Uh, it's, ba- it's basically just like a lottery, you know, like casinos about all it is anymore, and, and they're losing the money out their ass because people ain't gambling no more down here. Wait a minute. I was about asking it. about the movie industry, and you went into the casino thing. They're not gambling at the <laughs> casinos because they're watching the movie stars. How's it working? How did that? How did that happen? I have no clue. I you have no clue. Here. Yes, sir. So, would it, would, okay, would it, would it, yes, sir. Okay, the question I got, okay, I'm a new I'm a new listener, okay? And yes, I caught some of your show yesterday, and I was wondering, is that Tiffany girl not on your show no more then? Or what, no, what Tiffany was just, she's just a little intern that worked yesterday, and she's underage, and she's not allowed to work on the big show, which is the Friday uh, Howard 101 show, she's too young. You have to be. Oh, uh, you have to be a certain height to ride. You have to ride. be. A, no, you have to be 21 uh, to be <laughs> I, a Howard I, I, 101. I didn't, I didn't know. I was just kind of curious because she she sounded pretty cool on radio yesterday. I didn't well, know. she uh, she's a dancer, and she we made her split yesterday. Shirley, every time she talked to us, we made her do a split. Thanks. And Thanks for doing that. Now think day. about this. That. This is radio. We she could have been standing, you know, like sitting in a chair. And and weigh five hundred pounds, but we kept saying she's splitting and she's talking and and the phones rang off. Just the image of a woman doing this. Was she Tiffany? Was the one that did Family Feud with us? Yes, she was. Asian. She's very nice. Oh, All right, John. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. All Although right. one thing about her turned me mm-hmm. off right when we did the Family Feud is when you asked her for her name and she goes Tiffany like the jewelry store and I was like check that's please. how she was named check that's please. How, no no yeah, she that's did how say she was that. I don't remember yeah. that well that's because she was named for the jewelry store their parents are walking down the street uh, the mother's pregnant and mm-hmm. the, the father says you know oh you're pregnant it's so exciting and they walk by Tiffany's people jewelry really store. say things like that oh I know you're a pregnant. girl I know it's so exciting it's so exciting yes. <laughs> I know a girl named Church. Except, except with JTs. You know, so I gave her a, I gave her a, you know, like a, a band off a cigar and said, yeah. you know, here you go. Look, but no, pregnant. so they went into Tiffany's and they bought the mom a ring or something, and the, and the mom said, why don't we name the girl Tiffany? You know, and that's, you know, 
It's like he didn't take her to church as chicken. No. Hey, Mark of Boston, it's the uh, uh, Jay Thomas Show coming up in a few minutes. Uh, we're going to have a uh, a woman, a sister of Art Sears, is who is going to sing the national anthem. It's her, her lifetime dream. Have you ever been uh, to the, uh, uh, what what is it called there, uh, Camden Yards? Is that Fenway? what it's called? Fenway. Oh, yeah, Fenway. That's another good part, too. Oh, my God, Fenway. the fact that I knew that. Well, Where's football's Camden more Yards? sport. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I've been out there a couple times. Now, is it a big deal to sing the national anthem there, Mark, in Boston? People go crazy when someone stands up. If she sucks and Shuli will test for that, thank God Shuli are on the radio on yes. Friday. But, yeah, if if they uh, if she sucks, they'll fucking hurl things at her. Oh, my God. They, Boston, they will throw shit at her. Boston is notorious. This is just at Fenway. I'm talking about, like, comedy clubs. There's stories of comedians... Like getting into brawls on stage and then like finishing their set, like <laughs> with the audience. Like they're they are very very picky. If they don't like you, they will let you know in two seconds. Well, you know, uh, when I was a di- I was a disc jockey at Kiss in Boston, and so uh, the uh, there was the soccer was just getting to be big, uh, pro soccer or whatever, and the Greeks played against the Italians. And so we announced the Greek and Italian were playing. I don't know what the hell it was. And I said, man, you know, that must have been, that must have been quite a smell coming out of the stadium. <laughs> and the place went nuts. The phones, I, I thought I was in a foreign country. That was the thing that threw me about Boston. Did is, you make it to the cab? No. <laughs> I almost didn't. Now, that's another story. I got drunk one night with a buddy of mine, Armin Katayan, and we were so drunk we couldn't drive. So we said, look, let's get a cab to go to the next club. The fucking cab got in a wreck, and it broke my nose. Uh, The cab driver was drunker than us. Come on. That's the truth. Absolutely. Uh, Yes, Mark of Boston, what can I do for you? Jay, you know, I I, I like John Shears, i got to say that. But it seems, I mean, I've listened to you a couple of times on Friday, but, man, you got your own show. What the fuck are you doing on Howard? I mean, he would have hung up on you if you were a caller. <laughs> you think that if Howard were a caller, he would have hung up on me? No, right? if you were a the caller. Other way around, genius. If I was a caller, he would have hung up on me. There well, no, you go. I, I, what I'm, I'm, I've never considered myself funny or anything. Else. I'm just kind of like a lucky host. That's all I am. I'm like this lucky host guy. That's all. Surely is one funny bastard. I mean, thank God you got him on here. Seriously, it does save the show a little bit. I'm not trying to be a cocksucker, but I mean, really, you Mark, you Mark, are. Mark, Mark, Mark. Hey, Mark, if you're not trying to be a cocksucker, why are my balls already in your mouth? <laughs> Mark, uh, is my next question. To you last Friday, and and you know you got. Madison Cackle on the back. And, Shut the and fuck up, it's my card. Hey, let me tell you what's so funny. I'll tell you what's so funny Mark, about your Mark, you're laying call. it on too thick. We talked hold, yesterday. Hold on a second. <laughs> J- JT comes in. JT comes in. Wait, wait one second, Mark. Okay, Mark, hold on. JT comes in. I said, look, JT, um, it doesn't happen to me, but it happens to Shuley, it happens to Madison, it can happen to you. People call up and they, they say you're terrible and they're, they're really awful, so prepare yourself. Well, of course, the first fucking guy that calls up tells me I'm a fucking no good. Right, so that's it. Jay, no, seriously. What do you want me to say, Mark? I don't, you know what? I don't, listen, here's, here's my right, hope. Today's our last show. How about no, you know Here's, what? Do people come yeah. to your job and say no, you're doing you know a what? shitty no, job? No, no, it's, don't be it's, rude. it's different than that. If you don't have I don't, anything nice I to really say, don't give a shit. You can think whatever you want to think. No, we can't. But I've always felt the same way. When people uh, aren't interested, and I mean this, I said this the last week to somebody. If I found out you were dead by sundown, I don't give a shit. And I mean it because I, I mean, who get? What do you? What do you want? What do you want me to tell you? My life sucks. I'm no fucking good. I agree with you. Of course, I don't agree with you. You fucking idiot. No, take a fuck. Take some criticism. What I was trying to say. One fucking last thing is that yeah. you, you know when you were on last Friday, you couldn't even say cock. I mean, there were things that were coming up. You couldn't even say cock. I mean, you know, fucking. I couldn't say cock. I think you use uh, the C. Yeah, like C. Yeah, yeah, I don't like that stuff, but I do it just so you still think that it's kind of like, you know, like the cutting edge show. I'm, my whole career is pretend, Mark. I don't know if you saw anything about me or not, but it's all pretend. And, I, and I'm and i just kind of like, I just skirt the edges because you're right. I, it's not my act with the cock and all of that. Insecure people like you need to hear all that shit. Did you look at the channel you're at? What, what do you, how, you know, you're not in your own. Show you're on how Does that mean he has to say cock? Like is you that have a to say cock a lot. You I have to say have, cock. But you don't have to, but it's part of the fucking. Well, you brought it up, and now I feel as though I have to say. say yeah, it. buddy. Howard has anointed Jay. Who are you to call up and say that Howard Stern is wrong?
wrong. We can solve all Come on this. Now. I will say, I will say cock. I don't know that Howard anointed me. He said, Howard really said, I'd like to sleep in. I don't know if that's anointing me or not. But sleep, uh, Shuli is wanting to sleep in, anointing somebody. Listen, I don't. I, yeah. I can solve this very simply. I will say cock every hour on the hour, followed right. by balls and maybe a vagina. Right. All right. All right. Saves it again. No, I think. Hold. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, oh, you know, oh, you've genius. saved me again, Shuli. All right. Let's That's go to my Joe. Tab, of, oh, boy. Let's go to Joe of Tennessee. Joe. All right. Hold on, for Christ's sake. Uh, Joe of Tennessee, the Jay Thomas Show. Yes, sir. How are you? On Howard. Hey. 101, good yes. Good morning, Jay. Hey, yeah. uh, that last caller, Mark. No, no, he's right there. Mark of Boston. Hold it, Joe. He's right there, Joe. Joe, hey. talk to Mark of Boston. Go ahead. Mark, you cocksucker. Don't you know fucking good radio? I bet you like that hacky bullshit that Boba does every fucking afternoon, don't you? You have no fucking regard for good Cock. talent. You got do this you like in sucker. school when I was in school. Ooh, yeah, damn! No way, surely, surely no way, let them fight it out. All right, hold it a second, Joe. Thank you. All right, go ahead, Mark. Go ahead, Mark. Um, did Mark, he Mark. just fucking badmouth uh, the number two guy on Howard's yeah. channel? Maybe. Jay Thomas oh, is the number two guy. You can put my cock into the, after Howard. Right, we, that's cock again, Mark. I hope you're happy. You're having like a red letter day with the cock talk. I'm marking him. Hey, hey, the show's getting a little My cock can do a puppet show. The show's, the show's getting better. Fucking moron. All right, thank you, Joe. With All right, thank you, Joe. Look, I'm I'm sick of myself now. This segment right. of Crossfire was brought to you by. Ovaltine. Okay, there you go. Hey, Hey, uh, JT, what yeah. song, what, what appropriate song do you have? Uh, here we go. One, okay. two, here three, we go. Uh, oh. Thomas Show, that's uh, JTX, uh, Good Orleans Grocery tonight, Stanton and uh, Ludlow. Coming up, a woman will sing the national anthem, and let's listen to JTX at Howard uh, 101. To the Jay Thomas Show. Call 888 Stern 101. We'll be back with more of the Jay Thomas Show. Jay Thomas Show on Howard 101. Around the world, then up your block. It's time for America to wake up. No more bullshit. This is it. It's a revolution. This is a Howard 100 News Brief. I'm Ralph Howard. More concern over Artie Lang and his addictions. It's Howard 100 News in depth. Howard 100 News in depth. Artie needs help. Hopefully he's getting help. Yeah, he's doing outpatient. So he's doing outpatient. Okay, that's good for him. Joel Gallen, executive producer of the Bob Saget Roast for Comedy Central, didn't know Artie Lang was having a heroin meltdown when he canceled his appearance. I had no idea in the very beginning when this was all going on. It certainly was in the back of my mind, but but I was being assured that this was not drug-related at all. So... Joel offered to fly Artie out to L.A. in a private plane. If he really just had the flu, which we thought that's all it was, or a virus or something like that, what physical possible way could we get him here? So that's when we start talking about the private plane. Right, so now that you know that it was, how do you feel about it looking back? Well, I feel bad. I feel, uh, you know, I don't know exactly why Artie went on a binge. See, Joel, this is the best reality show, the Artie Lang show. Yeah, that's true. I, I think that he must be calling him right now. He could be He could be uh, the lead into the Pam Anderson reality show. Artie was a no-show, but says he's on the road to recovery. And Joel, like the rest of us, is hoping for the best. I, I, I like him a lot. I enjoy working with him. And uh, we want him back on other roasts and other shows that we do. For Howard went under news. I'm Lisa G. Howard 100 News. News. Un, 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 censored. You can listen to Howard Stern on the job online and Sirius Internet Radio. Details at Sirius.com. Another Howard 100 News Brief at the top of the hour, or as close as we can get. Howard 100. 
Ashley Madison. Another Ashley Madison success story. Hey, uh, another round. Do you really even want those drinks? Not really, but I do want that bartender over there. She's beautiful. Last week, it was the waitress at the lunch spot. The week before that, it was my new personal assistant. When are you going to realize you're just wasting your time and energy? There is a better way to meet women. What else am I supposed to do? Tell me. Just use AshleyMadison.com. That's what I did, and it worked for me and everyone else I know. Whoa, whoa. That's the site that caters to people who are already attached. Am I your friend? Yeah. Then trust me. You've never met women like the women of Ashley Madison. Bars, singles, dating services, pining over strangers and bartenders. That is crazy. AshleyMadison.com has real women looking for real encounters. Becoming a member is the greatest thing I've ever done for myself. Dude, you look like a new man. All smiles and no more desperation. I am a new man, my friend. An Ashley Madison man. Hey, thanks, Darren. You are a good friend. Don't thank me. Thank whoever started Ashley Madison. When you have a private moment at work today, remember to visit AshleyMadison.com. You'll be happy you came. Unwanted noise is everywhere. Airplane cabins, city bustle, office distractions. But you can fade background noise and enjoy your music more with Bose Quiet Comfort 2 Acoustic Noise Canceling Headphones. Bose QC2 headphones were originally designed for air travel. But owners say they also enjoy them wherever they listen to music. In the office, at home, and on the go. Acclaim Bose noise reduction, lifelike sound, and a comfortable fit. Try QC2 headphones for yourself by calling Bose at 800-611-1707. You'll be delighted by the difference Bose noise reduction technology can make. TechnologyReview.com says it's as if someone found the volume control for the world and turned it way, way down. And the sound? Travel and Leisure Golf says you'll think you're on stage with the band. And call 800-611-1707 to try Quiet Comfort 2 headphones risk-free for 30 days. Ask about making low monthly payments with no interest charges from Bose. Order now for free shipping. 800-611-1707. Every day, people get into serious debt. But I have a proven program that will get them out. I'm Ted Brower, president of Debt Settlement USA. If you have over $12,000 in credit card bills, you may be one paycheck away from serious financial problems. Before your situation gets any worse, call Debt Settlement USA. We can negotiate reductions with your credit card companies so that you will owe less. And we'll show you how to get rid of your debt without bankruptcy and without taking out another loan. Whether your financial hardship is due to divorce, medical bills, or loss of income, Debt Settlement USA can help. Your call is confidential, and there is no obligation. Call 1-888-398-9944. If you have over $12,000 in credit card bills, get help from Debt Settlement USA. Call 1-888-398-9944. Not available in all states. That's 1-888-398-9944. You're listening to The Jay Thomas Show. Call 888-STERN-101. We're back. With more of the Jay Thomas Show, Jay Thomas Show on Howard 101. Hi, it's me, Jay Thomas. JTX, uh, my son JT is our studio band today. You're like a real show. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we don't have any real guests. That's the real problem. Coming up next on the show, Art Sears' sister in law. There you go. The hell's that? <laughs> Who? You go home and you, you know, you, they, you, you, what happened over there? Well, f- they warned me. What do you mean they warned me? Well, I, I didn't say cock enough, and uh, <laughs> they you warned got a me. Pink slip. I'm out. I'm out. I got, I got three warnings, just like they're supposed to give you. You know, Jay, so. we've talked to you once, actually many times, about <laughs> yeah, using you know, the word cock more frequently. A lot of listeners have called in, Jay. They're unhappy. Why? You don't, <laughs> don't you don't give enough. them the cock quota that they're looking for. All right. Uh, let's go to Jason of Virginia. Hi, I'm Jay Thomas. How are you, uh, Jason of Virginia? Hey, I'm doing good. I'm just here so that Howard can sleep in. Let's not forget that for one minute. Yeah, don't mean to change the subject about cock, but I was an extra <laughs> in a movie uh, here in Crozet, Evan Almighty. Ah. Oh, yeah. You know what's funny about that movie, and, and I think Steve Carell not is much. A, it's funny a great about guy, movie. but you know what? That movie was kind of like... Uh, religious or I, I mean, it it was like wasn't exactly funny. It's about Moses. It's more of the, a message in the movie than comedy. That's for I, sure. I sat there for a long time. What did you play in the movie, Jason? I was, that was just an extra in the background. Were you I mean, one I, of the I goats just, on the ark. 
<laughs> no, no, he wasn't a goat on the ark. Come on. Now, when you say you're an extra, what scene was it? I, I've, I've seen the movie a couple of times. Um, why well, is it when it's actually, a piece of shit, it's on the plane, uh, is the other one? <laughs> yeah. it's cheap. Well, I was over there for two weeks, and, and I mean, I wasn't even, you saw my car for 30 seconds. Oh, okay. if even that. But you saw but, uh, it when you went to the movie, didn't you? Yes. Of course yeah. you did. When you when you got it on DVD, did you pause it for each frame? Well, I, I sure did. I when did there's a car it. crash and there's a local though. TV station out there, do you wave behind the behind the record? Bobby Bobby. Bobby. Yeah, that's my favorite. That's what I should have did. <laughs> but um, I can't I can't believe how much money the director wasted. Like, as far as, like, uh... Hold on a second, Jason. Uh, you were an extra from Virginia, <laughs> and you're going to uh, you're gonna tell me... You the movie. You're going to talk to me about how much money you think a director, a Hollywood director with Steve Carell... Maybe he knows. ...wasted in a film, and you were how far from the director? How many miles did they keep you from the <laughs> oh, no, main I, production? It was Tom Chadiak, and, I mean, you would actually sit there and be behind him in the breakfast bar as far as craft services. Or... I know Tom Chadiak. So how do you know he spent so much money? Oh, he would buy he would buy two hundred pizzas. He would buy ice cream for everybody on the set. He actually there's a local bike shop. He bought two hundred and forty bicycles for people that was in the movie. As but like gifts or yeah, you know I worked for Tom Shadyac and he didn't buy me a friggin' thing. I don't know he would he bought two hundred and forty bicycles. What like as a gift? I think the budget for that movie was exorbitant as well. I don't know that yeah. they they might have charged that against the movie, but so he would buy. Are you pissed? He didn't give you a bike. Why are you? I don't. Maybe don't he know. spent I, his own money. I don't know. I don't. I've never. I've I've never ever been in a movie set where they suddenly started. Giving people bicycles, they, the pizzas and ice cream. Maybe if you uh, work with not, kids, you, you fucking buy I bikes. But uh, adults, you gotta buy. He bought two hundred and forty bicycles and just handed them out. Oh yeah, they were big wheels. For a small, a very small town in this uh, bike shop called Cycle Recycle or something. Mm -hmm. um, he he actually went in there and bought every single bike that they had. I got and a Schwinn. Got, Who ordered a Schwinn? Oh, and, and, and this upset her, you. This upset you. Yeah, well, no, it didn't upset me. I just was curious since you're in the movies if you knew many directors that just went through money like that yeah yeah they do whatever they want to do and you and you like it uh because you're doing the movie and and it's none of your fucking business if they want to spend all that that money and it's also some french person or swiss person or some if you're stupid enough to finance a movie then you deserve whatever you get you know, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but, but, but that he bought bicycles and did all. But he probably spent his own money. To be honest, he did not charge. The, you know how rich this guy Tom Shadyac is. I mean, he probably made he, his fee was probably five or six million dollars. It was probably part of the budget, right? The yeah, no, the bicycles. Be. No, he just bought them. They, oh, yeah? They're so rich. I've seen them give the star. Well, you know, Those you'll things. be working and it's happy birthday, Madison, right? And you're a oh, movie star. Shit. And they come out and they give you like a Porsche or a BMW and all the schmucks, we're all sitting there going, oh, hey, great. Yeah. Um, no, they, they, they're they just rich, Jason. They're, they're incredibly rich. Mm -hmm. and, that, and that's true. I'm just from a uh, bumfuck town here in Virginia. Though. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You, you know, I mean, the, uh, you, you're not made for the movie business. I can tell you that right now. Oh, you are correct. Yeah, you're not made for it. All right. Thank you, Jason, very much. Yep, have a good well, day. that took all the fucking air out of this thing. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't doing that well before. And then that just, you know. Do you have a sound that makes like the air goes out of it, uh, live band? Yep. Live yeah. band. There Anybody back there play uh wah, 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 wah. Let's go to uh Carolyn Hart. Carolyn the J. Thomas show, welcome. Uh Carolyn, uh how are you? I'm welcome doing the... well, thanks. Thank you. Uh you are Art Sears, who is our, our, our producer, uh, who brings our guest on. You're his sister in law. You are married to who in his family? I'm married to Art's brother Rob. Art's Ooh, brother Rob. We've heard a lot of things. <laughs> I'd like you to meet uh Madison. <laughs> I'd like you to meet Madison and uh, yeah. and Shuley and my son JT is the is with JTX the studio band uh, today. So um, the, he threw a bunch of names out to sing at uh, this Jimmy Fun thing in Boston for the Red Sox, and he got Bill Cosby to throw out the first pitch, and and they didn't like the singers. And how did how did he come to have his sister in law uh, sing the national anthem? Well, I don't know. I was eating dinner one night with Rob, and the phone rang, and Rob said, do you want to sing the national anthem at Fenway Park next Friday? And I said, yeah. <laughs> so that's how it came to me. But 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 is this, uh, uh, he said it was a dream of yours, a lifetime oh, dream. Oh, absolutely. 
Absolutely, absolutely. It, I, for years, I have dreamed of singing the national anthem at Fenway Park. Yeah, I've been practicing the national anthem when nobody's around for years. <laughs> Where would you practice? Where would you go? Well, the garage has very good acoustics. There's mm -hmm. a nice echo in the garage. Yeah, cool. Or if I was driving in the car by myself, then I would, you know, practice there. Or a well. You, but nobody had, had, no one had ever invited you to, to sing before. So it was just a dream of yours, and you had no idea that one day your, your brother-in-law would, would, I mean, it's, it's, it, to have that dream is kind of odd. Did you ever, ever have a chance of singing? Well, what, what you usually have to do is, is make a demo CD and send it in. And so, um, I was in the process of having a friend of mine who has his own uh, home studio. Um, he said, you know, in a few weeks I'll be able to um, help you make the CD. So I was going to go ahead and do that anyway, and then all of a sudden I just got this phone call. So it was like, it was amazing. We should well, you could turn out like that guy, the guy after 9-11, the, the cop from New oh, York. The with opera, the, the opera with the unusual ears and all that, that guy with the strange ears yeah, who sings all over the Amazing. country. Oh, yes, I've seen him, yeah. Wouldn't you love to hear the audition tapes that the well, Boston Red Sox you know, get? This is what just, she just gave me an idea. Yeah. We should we should do demos, all of us, and send mm -hmm. it in to like the Yankees or the Mets and see who they would pick if they had to pick they somebody pick out of us. us. No, but I'm saying we're getting, you know, you just ruin every bit. No, but I mean, you know they what? No, it's fine. Of us. Oh, I wouldn't pick any of us. Maybe me, probably. But I'd like to. I'd like to hear the real people that say, oh, "What if, if we can get it now?" Now, 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 Carolyn. So now, and you would you've been practicing. So are you? Uh, what's the biggest worry you you have tonight in front of the Red Sox? Um, I don't. No, I guess uh, I guess I'm not, that, I'm not that worried. I You're guess not, that, you know, it's kind of difficult to have a guest come on who I've been <laughs> saying it's the biggest thing in her life, and and you know, at, at least a, 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 are you worried that you might forget the words to the Star Spangled Banner? No, I guess what I'm worried about would be like te if they had technical difficulties or something. There's like, other. If, there's you're other more things. worried if they would screw up. Right? Yeah. Okay. There's other things right. to worry about. Like if you who, who do, do they play tonight? Who do they play tonight? Uh, Toronto. Is that a big game? Uh, Toronto's a good team, usually. Yeah. Right. All right. Um, hold on do. one second. Is, is that, that guy on line four? Play? Is that guy on line four for real? Sean Kelly says he sang at Fenway. <laughs> hmm. You know, Carolyn, this is. Uh, I, I I don't know if he's. This is Howard one hundred one. Carolyn Hart. Anything Who can knows? happen. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Okay, so prepare yourself. Bobby of Denver, you sang at Fenway Park. You say? Yeah, it's no joke. I sang at Fenway Park before. I'm a cancer survivor, and they. Uh, let me sing there back in uh, 1986. Just Ka Carolyn, do you, can you sing? Carolyn, do you remember a guy 22 <laughs> years ago? Hold on a second. Do you remember a guy 22 years ago, a cancer survivor that sang at Fenway Park, Carolyn? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't. No. Um, I can't guys, remember anything I, from 22 Bobby, years ago. Bobby, Bobby, if so you're, you're, I mean, come on. You, you, you were a it's cancer so survivor. Joke. I believe him. He's got a sweet voice. Listen to that. All right. So so you survived cancer. And, and, and so, surely when we send our tape in to, uh, the Yankees, we have to all have a disease. Well, we should. Uh, I'm just going to do mine through one of those uh, throat uh, uh, things. Throat uh, disease. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. You know what? I tell you what. Bob, put Bobby on hold. I don't want him to overshadow Carolyn. Uh, uh, all right, hold on, Bobby. We'll come back. So get ready, Bobby, because we'll have you sing too. Uh, Carolyn, uh, so uh, you've been practicing and you you do it tonight. At what time? What time is first pitch? Uh, Seven oh five. The game starts. What are you wearing? Um, it's a secret. No, I'm. <laughs> No, I, I just, you know, bought some uh, black pants and a velvet shirt and some jewelry. Now, are you worried velvet at all? for summer? Are you, all, are you <laughs> at all worried about heckling from the fans? You know, Boston's a rough place. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess I didn't think of that, but that's certainly a possibility. See, what I think yeah. is we should do a dry run where Jay announces yeah. you. You come out to sing national and we'll right. play the crowd. Julie and I well, will Well, I'm going to change things. I'm going to change things up a little bit because now that we heard from Bobby of Denver, Carolyn, we're going to have to give you a disease. Uh, yeah. You need, you need, uh, you know what you need? Irritable bowel, scoliosis. Uh, Let's give her scoliosis. Gonna, so you don't need any music or anything. Is uh, JT? You don't. You guys don't play the national anthem, do you? JT? Hell yeah! This <laughs> man's oh, American, Jay. Carolyn, can you sing to that kind of to the to the Jimi Hendrix uh, the version? Jimi Hendrix version? No, I don't think so. So you, <laughs> you don't want the acid. 
You don't want the band? It's a really hard song. Let me tell you. Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Art Sears' sister-in-law, and this is the dream of a lifetime. And somehow, you know, I expect her to be all excited and everything else. Now, um, so, um, and of course, here you are, just this normal housewife uh, sitting in the kitchen. The next thing you know, a dream of a lifetime, Carol, Carolyn Hart. Now, Carolyn, I just want to say this. Uh, we know you're not uh, a professional singer at this time, and, and we don't expect a tremendous amount, but good luck to you, all right? I'm nervous for her. All right, here we go. Carolyn Hart will sing tonight. Here we go. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming. Is that enough? <laughs> no, no, the whole thing. The whole song? Sure. All right. Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we walked were so gallantly streaming <laughs> and the rocket. We should have never traded the babe. <laughs> Carolyn, you gotta keep singing when the people are yelling, Carolyn. <laughs> keep me. singing. Go ahead. It's just Detroit funny. Tigers. <laughs> Go ahead, Carolyn. Okay. Keep singing. This All is right. the practice. Go ahead. What do you think? <laughs> I wonder what she looks like with her clothes off. We're gonna hear it all. Listen, uh, good luck. I know it's exciting, and uh, they're going to be like what seventy five thousand people there uh, oh, cheering I don't know for. How many. It. You got to give yourself a disease, though. Okay. Yeah, I'll think of something. <laughs> okay. So, hey, look. Good luck tonight. It's uh, a lot of fun that just a normal, uh, ordinary American citizen gets to do uh, the, the national anthem, and this is the the dream of a lifetime. That's right. right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Did your husband want to you know do anything special for you prior to the singing? I don't know if he has anything special, or maybe I'll get flowers or something. That would be nice. You know, a lot of this is, uh, athletes. This is Howard 101. you got to think of something dirtier than that. Well, I was gonna say, <laughs> a lot of athletes uh, tend to hold back from having sex before a big That's match, right. big game. Good, what yeah. about you, yeah. Carolyn? Yeah. Will you, are you holding back? Are you holding back? Uh, like I, most I, women do. You know, I hadn't really given that much thought either. I'm just so focused on the vocal practice, you know. There you go. That's all you need. <laughs> Look, honey, I'm so focused on the vocal. I know. Hey, Carolyn, good luck tonight. Carolyn Hart will be singing. Uh, I guess you'll be uh, watching that game in the Boston, New England area tonight, Toronto and the Red Sox. Thanks a lot, Carolyn. Thank good luck to you, Carolyn. All right, see you later. All right. Stay where you are. Uh, we'll talk to the people from the Oxygen Retreat. We'll find out how a 90-year-old man has lived uh, that long. Shuley and Madison is here. And JTX is yeah. our studio band at Howard 101, the J. Thomas Show. I wait for Merv Griffin to walk through the door any time, uh, Madison and Shuley. It's Merv, everybody. Yeah. you in a row. Dream of a lifetime, Carolyn. I'm not that nervous. 10.35 on a lonely Friday night. Ah! She's standing by the bar. Mm, and she was looking all right. She asked me if she wanted to dance. She said that all she wanted was a good man who wanted to know. If I thought it was qualified. I said, baby. Take the place of your man. Woo! Howard 101, JT. 
Sound of JTA. Uh, it's 101. Thank you. You're listening to The Jay Thomas Show. Call 888-STERN-101. We'll be right back with more of The Jay Thomas Show. Jay Thomas Show. On Howard 101. It's the weekend, and while you're out on the road, we've got you covered with serious traffic. We've got coast-to-coast traffic reports updated around the clock on Sirius Channels 148 to 158. Don't spend your summer stuck in traffic. Check out Sirius Traffic on Channels 148 to 158. Life can be full of risks. One thing you shouldn't take a risk with is your family's health insurance. If you're self-employed or an individual and you need health insurance, you need to make this free call and see how the mega life and health insurance company can help you. They specialize in helping the self-employed and individuals just like you who need flexible health insurance to get it. Don't take risks with your family's health insurance. It's not worth it. If you're self-employed or an individual and you need quality family health insurance, call right now. 866-501-MEGA. 866-501-MEGA. 866-501-6342. Market and plans vary by state. Not licensed in New York. Exclusions and limitations apply. North Richland Hills, Texas. Policy series on file. Association group plans where available require association membership. Everyone loves a sale. And that's exactly what's happening with the growing foreclosure market. But before you go shopping, let Armando Montalongo from the number one hit TV reality show, A&E's Flip This House, reveal his secrets on his free CD. Hi. I'm Armando Montalongo, and I flip houses for a living. Right now, we're entering into the greatest real estate market of our lifetime. The best time to make money is when there are cracks in the economy. Look, you don't have to be a handyman, and you don't have to have a lot of money to get started. I started when I was broke, and now I'm going to show my strategies and successes with you. You can do this. I'll show you how to take advantage of the current foreclosure market so that you can make huge profits. Just call and order my free CD. Don't miss out on this once-in-a-lifetime chance to flip and grow rich in a foreclosure market. Call now for our Armando's free Flip and Grow Rich CD and DVD set. The CD and DVD set are free. Just pay a small shipping fee. Call 800-937-6142. That's 800-937-6142. Call 800-937-6142. Attention migraine sufferers. Do you suffer from migraine or tension headaches? Is the pain unbearable? Do your pills aggravate your nausea? Have you ever wished for faster relief? Well, your wish has finally been answered. It's now possible to stop migraine suffering in minutes rather than hours or days. That's right. It's now possible to stop migraine suffering in just minutes. It's called Dr. Heisen's Headache System, and it will change your life. Developed by board-certified neurologist Dr. Morton Heisen, it's easy to use and clinically shown to relieve migraine pain without pills, shots, or a prescription. Previously available only to his patients, Dr. Heisen's Headache System is now available directly for the first time. Stop the throbbing. Stop the pounding. Stop the nausea in just minutes with the revolutionary Heisen Headache System. Real relief is finally here for all migraine and tension headache sufferers. Call 800 800- 338-6251 to put an end to your migraine suffering. Call 1-800-338-6251. That's 800-338-6251 for real relief in minutes guaranteed or your money back. Call 1-800-338-6251. Again, 1-800-338-6251. How many times have you found yourself wanting to stay in the car to keep listening to Sirius? If only you had another Sirius radio at the next destination. Your office, home, boat, your other car, riding mower, whatever. Well, Sirius thinks it's time you did something about it and we make it easy right now you can add a second third or fourth radio to your existing account for an additional $6.99 a month per subscription that's about half off the single subscription price and when you think of everything Sirius offers, the sports, including the NFL, NASCAR, comedy, entertainment, big name stars, and 100% commercial free music, you'll realize how much you get for so little. We've even discounted our radios just for current subscribers. For a limited time, save up to half off on many popular models, including the portable stiletto. Go to Sirius.com slash Radio 2 for all the money-saving details. That's Sirius.com slash Radio 2. Sirius Satellite Radio, the best radio on radio. This is Dan Tullis, and I just called Joel Clark, one of Select Quote Insurance Services Term Life Agents. Hi, Mr. Tullis. Joel, how does Select Quote save you money on term life insurance? Well, buying term life insurance is about choosing the right company. Let's say you take antidepressants or you smoke. 
all insurance companies are going to price that differently. Now, we'll impartially shop all the companies we represent to find you the best price. Can you give me an example? Sure. I just got a 40-year-old man on blood pressure medication, a $500,000 policy with a highly rated insurance company. His price? $20 a month. Thanks, Joel. See how affordable term life insurance can be for you. Call 1-800-996-9654. That's 1-800-996-9654. Or go to selectquote.com. Select quote. We shop, you save. Get full details on the example policy at selectquote.com slash commercials. Your price could vary depending on your health and other factors. Not available in all states. John, they got everything. Our bank accounts are completely drained. I don't know how the thieves got in, but all of our money is gone. Honey, don't worry about it. I called LifeLock Identity Theft Protection a few months ago and signed us up for the service. We're covered. Is that the guy that gives out his social security number on TV? Yeah. LifeLock is the leader in identity theft protection, and they back every member with their $1 million total service guarantee. That means they'll spend up to a million dollars and do all the work to fix our situation. We don't have anything to worry about. Thank goodness you made that call. Don't become another victim. Protect yourself and your family today with LifeLock. Call 1-800-888-0242 now and get 30 days of LifeLock free. Don't wait. Operators are standing by 24 hours a day to take your call at 1-800-888-0242. That's 1-800-888-0242. 242 to get 30 days free. Again, 1 800 888 You're listening to The Jay Thomas Show. Call 888 Stern 101. We're back with more of The Jay Thomas Show. Jay Thomas Show. On Howard 101. I'm gonna party like a rock star, hit a bunch of strip bars, wake up naked in a hotel room, throw my TV out the window, smoke a bunch of endo, anything to get my mind up to you, find a telephone pole to wrap around my car, party like a rock star. On the Jay Thomas Show, Howard 101, and that's uh, JTX, uh... Uh, you go to iTunes and uh, here or buy or whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to party like a rock star. Just uh, look for JTX. And then tonight, Arlene's Grocery at Stanton and uh, Ludlow right there in uh, New York City. And it's JT, Kevin Wilson, Matt Van, and uh, Kerry Weaver. Hi, it's me, Jay Thomas. They're the studio band today. And uh, what what label are you on, JT? I don't even know. What's Next the name of your Next Plateau on? Records right here in Next New York Plateau. City. Next Plateau. Next Plateau Records. Come on out to my show. Shuli right. just may be there. You can there finally you meet Shuli. Shake it in. Uh, my illegitimate son. It's after all those. And then, you know, we do things now. We miss so many things. Shuli, this is the greatest joke in the world, Shuli. I took him to the park, and we rode on the, you know, the little merry-go-round and everything else. Yes, Jay. I'm uh, 28 years old. I'm pushing him in the little thing. It's heartwarming. Uh, let's go to Anna and Richie on uh, the Jay Thomas Show at How- Howard 101. Uh, Richie had called and said that people at his uh office had given him uh, a uh, like a, a gift and it's called the oxygen retreat and um i guess it was it was it two fridays ago or something like that Julie, yeah Madison? it was two weeks ago I and you like go to longer i think it was about two weeks ago. you go to the dominican republic is that right richie you go to the dominican republic i gotta and... say good morning to my favorite people on the radio how you doing oh, good morning Aww. all right are you talking to us or are you waiting for another show know. i'm talking you know, to what's you your, guys what's right. your waiting for uh bubba to come on oh, richie, uh, sent me, <laughs> thank you for the nice emails you've sent me thank no no well, no you richie you guys are the best yeah, we're wonderful. Uh, now, so so you, you you're in the office, and they go, you're going to go to this place, and uh-huh. and you get and you get to the place, and there are women running all over the place, and and it's a normal resort, except you can have all the sex you want, and there's a buffet, right? Well, it's it's you know you have to understand one important thing: you're flying into a third world shithole, you know. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the most important thing you got to understand is that you know this this operation is really a four star and first class thing because they pick you up in the, at the airport. There's a guy with a gun that accompanies you. The place is watched by armed guards. Wait a minute. You're, you're, I don't even... Do you think the place wants people to think that there's, you have to have an armed guard? You no, know, I've been to the DR. It's not that bad. Come well, on. but I will I'm say... Driving God. Through, I'm driving it is not that bad. I'm driving through the streets. There's kids with shit-filled diapers running oh, around. Oh, they're How much are they? Hey, no, listen. Hey, Richie, don't sugarcoat it, okay? Uh, 
<laughs> Don't make well, she's right. I fly out every weekend. You know how many times I walk by a gate and it says, you know, now boarding for shithole third world country. Well, so is, so you, you know, go to right. the Dominican Republic and right. you get off and and um, you drive through this. There's an armed guard with you. And then right. you, you get to the resort. And Do the open... women still look like armed guards when you get there? No, you walk through the door oh, and there, you, you check in and yeah. this place is filled with absolutely beautiful women. And the interesting thing is you get a coupon book, all right? Uh -huh. so, uh, Jews must love that. <laughs> well, you know, you got to watch these coupons because there's absolutely no money changing hands. And uh, you get my package was a standard package. I went, I, I flew in there on a Monday and I left on Wednesday. And believe it or not, there was there was a guy from Italy there that was there for 15 days. <laughs> oh, so dick must have fallen off. I said 15 days. I, I, come Wednesday, I was wimping out of the place, you know? Yeah. Now, do you bring a box of rubbers with you? Yeah, I, I, I came with, I went there with 20 condoms and I left with three. Ladies and gentlemen, nice. Richie. <laughs> now, after Richie. the big water balloon fight, and how I many did you actually Richie. use? <laughs> um, <laughs> nothing like a lubricated water balloon hitting you in the head. That's funny, uh, isn't it? Yeah. When a ribbed, um, when a ribbed water balloon bursts on you. So you get in there, and and uh, they, they greet you like a regular resort. Do they they give you like one of those um, fruity drinks with the rum in it? Do they do that? No, I, I checked in, and then I, as I was being uh, escorted to my villa by a porter, unbeknownst to me, the owner Mike, who is an absolutely outstanding person, I'm sure he turned is. around had had placed. A couple of beauties in my jacuzzi. So when I opened the door, there were two wonderful, beautiful women there with their arms outstretched, going, "Richie, Richie!" <laughs> and that what, was my start. What, what is the word they were? They were oh, Richie, His Richie. Name, they yeah. were. Oh, Richie. I thought they were the Kaniki, Kaniki. It sounded well, like no, they were I saying. Regret, I regret failing my uh, my high school Spanish because there wasn't a lot of English. Being spoken. Like you needed to speak. So you get in your room, and these two gorgeous women are there. You put your suitcases down, and 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 you 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 start you, you go start having sex, or well, are you I nervous? I mean, jacuzzi. I jumped in and did it into the jacuzzi because I was amazed at this whole thing. And are then, you a handsome man? What do you look like? Are you well, a handsome man? I sent man? you guys a couple of pictures. Everybody there thought I was 40 years old. I think I'm a great-looking guy. Mm -hmm. I are you, are you like one of those hairy kind of Long Island guys with the change? No, I'm, uh, you know, I'm 5'10". I'm 165 pounds. I got my own hair, you know. And, wow. Uh, you know. <laughs> so you're not some overweight slob that goes in and the women are disgusted by you. These women were seeing a, a, a svelte uh, a, a sex machine that had just come Word, from... word spread that, you know, I was giving everybody a run for their money. There was no easy thing going on here. You mean me. the women were talking that this guy in like... What, what was your room number, by the way? My room number was Villa Number One. And the, in Villa Number One, there was a real, like a hot tamale in Villa Number well, One, or whatever they eat there. One, they eat there? one girl, one girl measured oh, my 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 private part with. No, you you can. In fact, I'd like you to say the word cock. cock. Yeah, one girl measured my cock between. Hold on a second. I'm broadcasting oh. to one guy right now, Shuley. I hope you're happy, Mark. Go Mark ahead. Mark of Boston. She measured I'm broadcasting your cock. to you. And by the way, Mark. Sundown, I can't wait to read about your death yeah. in the globe. Uh, yes. Uh, so, so Richie, so you come in, uh, she begins measuring your cock. and, and well, this is one of them did that, and then the word spread that, you know, this guy is, you know, doesn't have a little pee-pee. <laughs> well, so what was the measurement? Seven and a half inches. Nice. Wow, let's hear it for, for Richie. Thank you. Now, now that Richie. hard or soft? <laughs> That's hard. Well, Richie, no, I don't want to. I don't want to shock you, but uh, in Dominican Republic, Richie actually means I need a green card. Uh, so <laughs> no, Richie, that's, that's what they're you're, you're divorced or something? Didn't they give you the gift because yes. you just got divorced? So if you've I got, got divorced, such a, I don't yeah. advocate infidelity. If I was in a relationship or I was married, I don't. I wouldn't be going. We don't need to hear all of that shit. How right many now. different okay. women did you uh, have sex with? Uh, let's see. I think uh, over a period of three days, eight of them, and uh, you know, for a total of about seventeen pulls. Now so. you wear you wear the condom during seventeen like... pulls. Is that what you, how you said it? Well, yeah. I mean, you know, seventeen rounds. Do you, you remember know, all so. their names? Oh, please. Uh, 
Pretty much, yeah. I got pictures to prove yeah. it all. One named Starlight, one's named Rainbow. So this is the Oxygen Retreat, and the guy that was there for 15 wow. days, yeah. he's spending thousands of dollars to do thousands. this. And and there's, a, there's a guy that flies in there 10 days every month. He's a big, big executive. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, from what I understand, big money. I mean, but there were all kinds of guys. There were three other guys there. There was a lawyer from Georgia, the guy from Italy, and another guy from Chicago. So, so now, do you all so walk around point. naked? Do you walk around no, naked? What I or did you... was I planned to just have scotch and Viagra in my bloodstream for 72 hours. <laughs> so what I did was my job while all you guys were working was to sit at the pool Mm -hmm. and interview all these young, tasty treats that would prance by me, and I would tell them to Can turn Can you around. just reach out, grab them, bring them to you, and just start yeah, licking on them? Yeah, could you just walk up to a chick, grab her like a bowling ball, and take her to your room? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you could pretty much do that, right? But then you had to get creative because two of your coupons were for being with somebody overnight. So since, you know, you're going to spend more than just a couple of hours with them, you, you wanted to try and find somebody that could just remotely communicate. What I, <laughs> I, 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 I don't get that. The United Nations, you know, I'm using well, sign Yeah, but if you line me up a bunch of prostitutes, I'm not going to look for the one that I have a mental connection with. Uh, you yeah, know. But you have to talk, you know. Like, you don't have to do it shit. In, well, well, they should learn yeah. English, those girls. What, well, man? You know, I just got to tell you, if I'm going to spend overnight, I at least want to, you know, have a couple of pleasantries in between. Oh, you know. stop. Well, Come no, on. you know, you want to say, you want to have some sort of chat. This chick just came right. from an eight-way I mean, suck-off. You, you want to know her theories on life and but, reincarnation? You know, for me, Shuli, I like to talk dirty, and if I can't communicate that with the person. Well, there's nothing wrong with flipping through a Spanish to English dictionary well, in the middle no, of the No, they no, wait, should, wait they should wait. learn the language if they're there. They should learn well, a little English. Wait a minute. Wait a second. You, you're in the room, clit, Richie. my pussy. Yeah, 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 you're, you're in the room. room. You're in the room. You get laid, and then and then the woman's going to sleep over, and right. you don't really have a language that you share. And is right. there a television in the room? Yes. So, so did you turn on television. sports or anything, and does she yeah, just stay yeah, there? I, I fell asleep, and then I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning, and I turned to my left, and there was this beautiful bronze body there, so I flipped her over on her belly and gave her a run for her fucking money. <laughs> fell asleep, woke up at 6 <laughs> o'clock in the morning, yeah, and, was... and turned around to my left and saw her again, slapped her on the ass. Mm -hmm. Was she awake, or did again, you have to wake her? Then, I'm sorry? Was she asleep when you did this? Uh, she woke up pretty quickly. Okay. You know, I, I remembered when I was married and I tried to do that. My wife used to say, how would you like it if I was poking a fucking broom handle at you at 3 o'clock in the morning? So in this case... I didn't have any fucking problems because that's what I was paying to do, you know. I would have loved you. to have heard that in Spanish, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you. Uh, broom handle. Richie, yeah. uh, when you get oral from these girls, you still have the rubber on, correct? No, no rubber. That's kind of risky, though, isn't no it? Rubber. Nah, they're, they're all checked out every ten days by doctors. Yeah. This is this is the rule. Yeah. By Dominican doctors, Do Doctor yeah, Vinny Boomba. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this was this was a uh, really Doctor Kavorkian. <laughs> it's okay. Go ahead. Hey, listen, guys. No one gets out alive. You know. So, right. You know, Dr. Schultz. This I'm okay. Dr. Mengele say I'm okay. Okay, this place is the Oxygen Retreat, and it's a real... Now, are you uh, a member of the staff, or do you own any piece of this place? Because uh, the, the first time I heard of it is when you called us. So you're well, just I a regular citizen, right? That's that went it. To this. I'm a regular okay. citizen who listens to you guys. The one thing yeah, okay. I have a hard time understanding, Jay, is yeah. your, your co-workers got you this gift, correct, Rich? Yeah, I work for a big company, and a lot of the guys are very unhappily married, <laughs> yeah, well, and, they turned, and they turned around to me because, you know, they knew me and my wife, and when I got divorced, uh, you know, you know, hey, listen, divorce sucks, <clears throat> and being alone sucks. And, uh, yeah, but I would kind of take that as a bit of an insult if my coworker said, look, you're not, uh, you have no game, and you're not good good looking enough to get it on your own no, with a normal chick. I think they just wanted to treat him to, to something that's nice because he was going through a divorce. That's mm. all. That's exactly what they did. And, yeah. uh, okay, okay. Now, now, you were there, and it was okay because you're divorced and, and all right. that. But one of the things we discussed, a guy like me goes and married with a couple of kids. I can't announce to my Three wife. Three kids. <laughs> 
if you want to go, if you who, want who woke to him up? <laughs> That's right. I'm sorry, JT. I have three sons, and so you go and and I I leave with my golf clubs and my right. tennis racket and everything else. You, and and yeah. can't you call there and they pretend that you're at yeah, the? He has an alibi thing, you know, for 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 guys like that where where I guess their wives can call and say I want to talk to. My husband will say, "Hold on a second. Up, oh, he's on the ninth tee." Well, <laughs> he's I'm, right. He's uh, back, your you know? husband's in the eighteenth. I mean, he's on the eighteenth right. hole. <laughs> right, right, right. right. Exactly. Your husband. Your husband. What did you bring? You brought twenty rubbers, right? You let That's you know. That's correct. This, okay, let's go to Anna. Uh, Anna, uh, it's the Jay Thomas Show at Howard One Hundred One. Uh, uh, you've been to the Oxygen Retreat as a with with your husband or with Richie or who? Who'd you go there with? <laughs> Definitely did not go with Richie. Um, I mm-hmm. actually went with my boyfriend. Now you guys are you guys still together? <laughs> Surprisingly, we are. Wow, I, that is a surprise. So you oh, and your boyfriend uh, swing uh, in the states, and you decide to go swing uh, at the Oxygen Retreat, or was it a new thing for you? It was a new thing. Um, I'm Anna, a, Anna, ex- Anna, 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 yes. Anna. <laughs> Anna. Yes. Anna. I'm going to say it again. Okay, ready? Go ahead. You and your boyfriend swing in the States, and you decide to go swing in the Dominican Republic together. Or oh, yes, new... Jay. <laughs> no, but I mean, you've never done this before. I, okay. Here's hmm? the real story. Thank when you. I, when right, I was ladies and gentlemen, college, now the real story on the, the Jay real Thomas Show. Story, Here we go. When I was in college, I had one experience with a woman. Nice. Garrett, come here. Hold me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, why yeah. is it that? You know what? You have to do that, though, and it's true, isn't it, Madison? Women have to be very careful what they say to men about what they did, but yeah. men don't have to be as careful. No. And so... You, yeah, but you, men, men love it. Men love to hear... But then they get jealous and girl. they start all that shit. Well, because girl, no, they girl, don't. girl, girl, and girl, girl is, is sensual. It's Didn't it's I say romantic. I wanted that for my birthday, and it's my birthday today. Where's my well, blonde? But you Anna. understand the differences. Like a girl telling a story, it's sensual, it's romantic. Yeah. A guy yeah. goes, "I flipped her on her back and gave her a money's worth." I know. You know, that's I a gave her a run for her money. So, yeah, yeah. You and your Rumble. boyfriend are sitting around, and you find out about this oxygen retreat, and you go. Let's go, and you'll have sex with other women, and I'll have sex with with other women. Is that? I mean, how? Did, what was the conversation like? That is what I said to him, and believe it or not, he actually was the one that was reluctant. No, I don't want to sleep with anyone other than you. Well, it's because he's mm. smart. He figured you were trying to trap him. <laughs> mm. Of right. course, <laughs> he's a smart guy. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. not dumb. So um, I just had this idea, and. I think secretly I was the one that was more excited, and somehow mm. I convinced him, and we went. <laughs> so when you get in the plane, you know, you get in the plane with anybody's, you know, girlfriend or wife, you're, oh, God, this is going to be great. You can't wait to get to the thing. You're, like, all excited that you're going to get to the Dominican Republic, and there are going to be women there for you, right? I was. <laughs> Can, do you do you look like anyone famous, just for my mental... All right, Howard. Hold on. I'm just trying to fucking picture what she looks like, all right? Um, I look, let's see, I have heard anything from Penelope Cruz. That's fine, you can stop. That's, that's not enough. That'll work. Well, she was adding Kathy Bates to that. Richie, yeah. did you see any couples <laughs> yeah, no. there when you were there? Did you see any loving couples uh, at the Oxygen Retreat when you were there? No couples. There was myself and three other guys. We okay. went on a weekend. You went on a weekend. So yeah. you get into the thing. Did the armed guards lead you through the, 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 shit-filled, the shit-filled diaper area of, uh, of, of Santo Domingo? The guy or with an Uzi took me to baggage claim. The, the Dominican oh. Republic. Were there, do you remember a shit-filled diaper on your way to the, to the resort, Anna? Don't let Richie fool you. It was paradise. Okay. So uh, you get in. You go to your room. Who's Fucking waiting? Paradise. All right. Who's Richie? You go into the room there. And and do they have uh, a little fruity drink for you? Do they have something? Do they have for two you? chicks in a hot tub? For yeah, you? what do they have waiting for you? Um, when we got there, uh, there were not women waiting for us in the room, but there were women everywhere. And right away, we went to the pool, so we started talking or <laughs> being around the women right away. Now, either you or your boyfriend speak Spanish. He does. I didn't. So now, okay. who knows? They they could have been, you know, planning all kinds of things. But can I have you guys, no idea. Can you guys have sex at, like out by the pool if you wanted to? Um, you can. We didn't. Right. We Richie, we did ex- you have sex in public? No, no. I don't think. I don't. I think that's kind of frowned on. It is. I think. 
Are the women I'm are the women topless? You think you could do it on the beach and whatnot? Well, are the women right? naked or topless walking around the pool or? Tiny bikinis. I mean, teeny tiny bikinis. And do you wear a little speedo, Richie, on that big seven and a half of yours? I don't wear speedo. What are you wearing? (laughs) Board shorts, like like surfboard. (laughs) No, you know what you had. No, he had cargo pants. You know the guys who go to go on vacation. Condoms in each pocket. So, so Anna, uh, 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 what was it like to watch your boyfriend on top of another woman? Was that the first time you'd seen? Well, how did it start? Did you did you and her start first, or did he start with her first? Well, the whole first night, it was just me and the women, and he just watched, and he was turned on plenty by doing that, and I thought he was going to join us. I'm not, I wasn't even there, and it's working right now. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, oh, on the band hold on too. a second. Let's go to the JTX band. Uh, Kevin Wilson, this is your first experience. Uh, you know, you're just in New York, and now you're, you know, if you guys make it, uh, Kevin, uh, what, 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 what do you play in the band, Kevin? A lead guitar. Yeah. Will you be going to these kind of retreats when you start making that big rock money? If I'm lucky. Are you married? No, I'm not. You're single. Okay. That's pretty cute, All right. too. <laughs> All right, there you go. So this is like a rock and roll thing. So, Anna, you, you're... Thank the you, women are, Welcome. The women are devouring you, and your and your husband, your boyfriend just watches. And then what? Um, and then the second night that we were there, he was part of the action. He joined us. Right. Now, and how, is your rela- was it just relationship you? better now? Does that does it bring you closer together? It. It is. I, our sex life is better. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. Now, did, uh, w- when you guys joined in together, was it you, him, and another chick, or more than w- one chick? Uh, what was, was the total? One, one other woman, myself, and him. Wow. Now, did you go? Did she? You go down on these chicks? I did. <laughs> Who had more partners, you or him? Oh, I did. Oh, good, good. Okay. Oh, him Richie, and me. Richie, you need to meet someone like Anna, Richie. <laughs> I think well, he. I think I, I'm surprised she doesn't like right. Anna if she wore a condom on her tongue. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Did you have any uh, kind of protection? Yeah, aren't you afraid you're going to catch some sort of Dominican sore or something? I those are very clean. I wasn't worried. You were. They were all very clean. Wow. I'd have been wiping them down with those uh, <laughs> those Moist antibacterial, towelettes. those things you use in the kitchen. I'd have been wiping them completely. I'd be trying to stick her in a microwave. I just need I'd to sterilize have... you for two minutes, please. Well, in okay, a jar of so, so Anna, how many days did you guys stay at the resort, at the oxygen retreat? <clears throat> we were there three days, two nights. And was it enough? Like sometimes you go on vacation and it's like, I've had enough of this, I'm ready to go home. Was it enough, Anna? Um, I could have stayed longer. Really? <laughs> I mean, there's, there's beautiful women everywhere, yeah. Wow. Richie, could you have stayed longer or was it enough? It was plenty. It was enough, believe me, man. You did it. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, Anna, did other guys hit on you that were there just like Richie hanging out? Um, the, the men that were there were friendly towards me. Right, <laughs> know, right. You know. And your boyfriend's not a jealous guy, I take it. Um, if it was a man, he would have been. But since it was just me with women, it was right. okay. more than is he, is he like this the dangerous kind of knife-carrying Puerto Rican guy, the guy you're with, Anna? <laughs> No. Those kind of guys that are knife people? You know, you know? Not, okay. No is knife. he Cuban? Is he a Cuban guy? Is he a knife wielding uh, Cuban? He is not. He's, uh, is he's he behind you right the, now? Is he yeah, behind you right now? Holding a knife to your neck as you're talking? There's a about? knife in my back. Otherwise, Okay. Uh, Where is he from? What Spanish country is he from? <laughs> He's he's not from. He just can speak Spanish. Oh, he speaks it. Oh, oh so he manages right. a McDonald's. Good. All right, no, listen. No, thank you. Exactly. He, I was going to say he works at DMV. That's what I was going to say. Okay, Anna, thank you very much, and Richie, thank you. Uh, the auction retreat we uh, we just heard about it a few weeks ago, and I guess the owner's name is Mike or something like that. Yeah, Mike? he's a great guy, and he runs good. a four star operation. And okay, I, I good. thank you, Mike. All right, thank you, Anna and Richie, uh, who went. Uh, we heard a couple of uh, weeks ago and heard about that. Oof, she's uh, hot. The boys broke into Brick House for Anna. All right, there nice. you go. Hey, it's the Jay Thomas Show with Shuley. Madison's her birthday today. And JTX, uh, my son, it's the house band today on the Jay Thomas Show at Howard 101. Hit it, guys. When you're ready. I need a cigarette after that story. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. And a towel. What I like is, um, I'm sorry, he's, um, he's at the uh, Bible session right now. I'll have him call you back. Here's the retreat. I like how banging a chick in public is frowned upon there. Yeah. You gotta have rules, Shuli. You gotta have rules. You can't kiss a hooker, but you can shove a toaster up her ass.
JTX, Kerry Weaver, Matt Van, Kevin Wilson, and JT himself on the Jay Thomas Show, Howard 101. We're live in New York City tonight, Arlene's Grocery, 8 p.m. Come on down. Look up JTX on YouTube and iTunes. Jay Thomas, Howard 101. Howard 101. It's the Jay Thomas Show. Call 888 Stern 101. The Jay Thomas Show on Howard 101. Around the world. And up your block. It's time for America to wake up. No more bullshit. This is it. It's a revolution. This is a Howard 100 News Brief. I'm Ralph Howard. Serious drama on the Stern Show. It's Howard 100 News backstage. Howard 100 News. News. Backstage. You can't have interventions on the air. I mean, in spite of what they do on A&E, you can't intervene while doing a show. No question. But the elephant in the room, to use an unfortunate expression, is Artie Lang's increasingly alarming personal plight. This is the bad boy room. And this is not the room where you go to get help. But Robin Quivers at least as conscious as anyone on the Stern Show that Artie's issues are getting more and more troubling. I'm not saying there's nothing we can do. There have been issues in the past where those steps might have been taken. And I don't know if they were because we were never told about the resolution of those Issues. The fundamental fault line on the Stern Show has always been marked by comedy on one side, facing off against brutal, honest reality on the other. But Robin seeming to suggest this ain't Oprah. We are a show. We're not an entity that says uh, if you don't straighten up, you can't work here anymore. Yeah. I mean, half the people here should be uh, uh, fired every day. I mean, we... we the nothing we do is appropriate. Robin apparently rejecting the idea that someone here needs to step in and help Artie Lang now. Who who does that? He's an adult. You get to make your own decisions. As much as you want to intervene in someone else's life, you cannot make the final decision for him. God forbid reality trumps comedy. For Howard 100 News, I'm Steve. We dare not forget today that we are the heirs of that first revolution. Let the word go forth. It's a revolution. The torch has been passed revolution. to a new generation of Americans. Revolution has started. Howard 100 News, putting the fist to good use. News for Howard Stern and other fans of American Idol. In September, Clay Aiken returns to Spamalot, the Broadway musical, for another four months. And you can listen to Howard Stern on the job, online on Sirius Internet Radio. Details at Sirius.com. Another Howard 100 News Brief at the top of the hour, or as close as we can get. Howard 100. Are you worried about making money in this economy? Well, I'm not, and you shouldn't be either. Hi, I'm Laurel Langmire. The strategies I'm teaching right now can put new money in your bank account in the next four to six weeks. Best-selling author and millionaire maker, Laurel Langmire, has personally coached hundreds of people into financial freedom. Laurel can teach you how to grow your bank account fast, even in this economy. My experience in the first four months, I walked away with almost 300000 Did you know that fortunes are made in recessions? I can show you how to make more money this year than ever before. Get started with Laurel's book, Millionaire Maker, and her powerful CD, Creating Massive Wealth in Today's Economy, a $75 value. You can do this. And to get started, I'm going to give you a copy of my best-selling book and a bonus CD for free. Just pay a small shipping fee and you can put new money in your bank account in the next four to six weeks. Call 1-800-514-9684 for your free book and CD. That's 800-514-9684. 800-514-9684. If you're driving in your car, or no matter where you are, I guarantee you're surrounded by thousands and thousands of dollars of foreclosed real estate. These properties have automatic built-in profits that could be yours. I'm Bob Diamond. I've already shown thousands of Americans, just like you, how to put new money in their bank account in only a matter of weeks. For over 20 years, Bob Diamond has personally bought and sold over $80 million in real estate, and there's never been a market with as much potential for wealth as right now. Bob Diamond will show you how to close unlimited foreclosure deals to create massive wealth in today's economy. 
All the details are in his newest book, Super Profit Real Estate Investing, and bonus CD, Treasure Map to a Gold Mine and Foreclosure in Bankruptcy Properties, that you can get right now absolutely free. Since me and Bob, I've made almost $100,000 in less than a year, and we're more than doubling that with our current deal. Cash in on this once-in-a-lifetime foreclosure profit explosion. Call now to get Bob's newest book and CD for free. Just pay a small shipping fee. So call now, 476-4999. That's 800-476-4999. Why wait? Call now, 800-476-4999. Investors, are you worried about record oil prices, slumping housing prices? What can you do to protect yourself against a recession or inflation? Now's the time to consider an investment in gold. Just call Goldline for a free investor's kit at 800-985-3618. Gold has gained an average of more than 20% per year since 2001. And gold still remains well below its all-time high when adjusted for inflation. With as little as $1,000, you can add real gold to your portfolio. That's actual gold shipped directly to you. In today's economy, see how gold can help diversify your investments from one of the nation's oldest and largest gold dealers. Call 800-985-3618 and Goldline will send you a free gold investor's kit and DVD. Call right now and you'll also get a coupon for free delivery of your first order. Don't wait. Call Goldline right now. 800-985-3618. That's 800-985-3618. Howard 101. It's the Jay Thomas Show. Call 888-101. The Jay Thomas Show. On Howard 101. Got a broken heart again. It must be the millionth time. Hi, the Jay Thomas Show with JTS. You're out with all your friends and home alone crying. You said we'd last forever. Forever came and you. Tonight there's only one thing to do. I'm gonna pay. Star. Read the story of uh, uh, the reunion of uh, JT and I. With you know, my gave him up for adoption. Next thing you know, we find each other. It's uh, in uh, Us magazine. I guess this week uh, came out yesterday. And go to uh, iTunes, of course, or just look for JTX Music. I'm going to party like a rock star. And tonight over there at Arlene's uh, Grocery in uh, New York City, go to jthomas.com, jthomasshow.com for the Abomination T-shirts. Whether you like him or not, you can make that a positive or a negative. The uh, John McCain Get Off My Lawn T-shirt, backpack. Uh, Sean, don't we sell little dog uh, sweaters? Isn't that something we sell where your, your little puppy gets some cold and you make a little dog sweater? Out of yes, anything? Jay. When your little puppy is cold in the park, you can just <laughs> slap on the Jay slap Thomas Show T-shirt and sweater. keep them warm. They're lovely things. <laughs> I need one of those. My dog has shirts. We, and we introduced Obama, Obama the commie the other day because what we realized is we're only doing this for the money. And, and the, the, the right wing people seem to really like to buy shirts that put down, you know, uh, the liberals. And so that's why we have the Obama the commie uh, t shirt. It's got a picture of uh, Barack Obama and you can wear that around. And Obama Nation is another one that's, that's going good. And, and people say, what, well, are you against it? No, I don't give a fuck about either one of them. I just want to make, I want you to buy the shit and we make money. And there's hats and you can make anything you want. So just hit store over there. And also, you'll see the links to uh, all the guests that we've uh, uh, had uh, on the show. Uh, let's go to um, Mickey Hanning of the NOLA Bulls uh, from my hometown of New Orleans, Louisiana. Go to NOLABulls.com. Uh, Mickey, welcome to the J. Thomas Show at Howard 101. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing well. It's an honor to be on the phone with Eddie the Eagle. That's right. That's me. That's right. From uh, from Cheers. Thank you. Uh, now you, uh, by the way, uh, Madison is here. It's her birthday hello, today, hello. Mickey Hanning. Happy birthday, thank Madison. you, thank you. Right, thank you. and then Shuli is here, and Shuli, I'm, I'm I'm in negotiations with Harris in New Orleans right now. We are trying to get you a gig at Harris. Awesome, man! I can't wait. Oh wow! Yeah, we'll try. And they were asking if you work dirty yesterday. I can work however they want me to work. Can you work a little semi-clean? Can Absolutely. You? Okay, in the middle. Okay, good. You know, sure. Mickey, uh, you and I, uh, you're from, born and raised in, in uh, New Orleans? Yes, are you? sir. West Bank proud. 
Oh boy, yeah. What's where that? you at, your mother? Yeah, well, that's right. where. Yeah, where you right? They talk like that over there. Um, when you go to a, a bar in the West Bank, really huge women have men just flocking to them. It's unbelievable, isn't it? That's why I stay out of those places. They scare me. Sounds like bizarro world. That's where my brother hangs out, Mickey. That's why I have to go to those places. So the West Bank is across the the river, and when the hurricane came. Um, they didn't want any uh, minorities to go over there, right, Mickey? And so they shot people or shot at people. That is true. The good old Gretna PD. Yes, that's that's right. Away. They were trying to escape the flood, and they went to the bridge to run over into the West Bank or into Gretna, and the, they, <laughs> they were waiting for them. back to the flood? With machine guns oh and with God. shotguns. So then the people from New Orleans get guns and they start... Now remember, the floodwaters are chasing them. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. They're chasing them, and a, uh, three or four of them got killed, didn't they, Mickey? Didn't uh, they get... On that bridge incident, no one did. This was a different bridge, the Danziger Bridge, which is over in uh, the Ninth Ward area. Right. So That's they shot a few people there, and they just let them go. But we're here for happier stuff. Uh, there is the running of the bulls uh, forever and ever. What? What? That's in like uh, P- P- Paloma. Is that Am- where is that? Ampelona. In in Paloma. And and so you decided to do something the sort of the same way there in New Orleans. What what is it you're doing? Well, um, I don't. We I don't think in in the states they're going to let us run wild bulls through the uh, through any city. Right. Um, so we had to improvise a little bit, and one mm-hmm. of our co-founders, uh, Tracy Belena, was uh, a member of the flat track roller derby team called the Big Easy Roller Girls. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we have um, this year we have 33 girls suited up in uh, skates with horns on their helmets and armed with wiffle ball bats to uh, to be our bull. So you've got women from a roller skating team. Uh, and you've dressed them up, and and has it happened already, or is it going to happen? This uh... Uh, it happens in uh, July. It's the same time they run the Festival of San Fermin in in Pamplona. We do it here at the same time. In well, what street are you going to be doing this on? Well, we start out on Conti and Burgundy, uh, which is in the French Quarter, right? And most people would say Burgundy, but no one. Well, we say Burgundy, right? right? Mm-hmm. I head down to Bourbon Street and hang a left and shoot that on down to Ursulines, and uh, that's where the end runs. So it's only a point six one miles. It's a real short trek, but it's so you good. have the women on roller skates with 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 wiffle ball bats, right? And men uh, j- uh, will will run in. Is this the first running of the of the female? What are you you're calling these women the bulls? Is it the first running of of this thing? This was our second year. Second uh, year. Yeah. And they, 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 the guys run in and out of the women, and they beat them with the plastic bats? The women run in and out of the men and beat them with the plastic bats, right. Now, <laughs> when did you come up with such a brilliant idea? <laughs> yeah. It was uh, Mardi Gras Day two years ago. I was, uh, I was walking around costumed, and one of my friends was costumed as one of the runners from Pamplona, so... I just uh, We started talking, and I said, you know, we ought to do this in New Orleans, and it just went from there. <laughs> And when you first said you wanted to have people run through the streets and beat others with bats, um, did, did the city, does there, is there any, like, a rule, or do they worry about, you know, I don't know what, someone dying or being hurt terribly or something? Well, the first year we did it, we did it under the radar. We didn't uh, get a permit or anything. It turned out we had about 150 people participate in the run. So you went in the street without a permit and a bunch of women and skating and guys running in and out and, and being hit with these plastic bats. Did the cops come out? Well, interestingly enough, the, the place that we ended the first run was right by Brennan's. I don't, I'm, you're, you're familiar with it. but Yeah, the, right re- there, the restaurant. The yeah. central lockup is right there across the, the street. Yes. That's where we ended the run, and the party was next door to central lockup. Now, this was 8 o'clock in the morning when we do this. So no one told the police. Now, what kind well, of permit do you need to get to, for 100 broads on skates with <laughs> wiffle ball bats? <laughs> well, the one we got this year, it's, it's basically a parading permit, which is something that happens here all the time. Oh, right. uh, but, well, now, all kidding aside, when you're in New Orleans, you'll wake up just like, you know, July 3rd or August 12th or whatever, and there's a parade happening, and you no one knows what the parade is. They're just parades all the time. Is there any excuse to party down there? Yes, but there's a lot of crazy parades that aren't really attached to anything that you would read about, and so th- you just got a parade permit, and then or has anyone, you know, some people are killed or maimed uh, there in Spain uh, running from the bulls. Have we had any death or any real injuries? No, the only injury we had was a fake one where one of the guys uh, had some fake bloody ripped his shirt up 
and he put it all over, and he hammed it up for all the news cameras that were out there. So you have fake blood. Right, and one of the bulls did uh, Well, Actually, we just saw some new video out there that uh, some bulls were taking some pretty nasty falls, but you know they, they're professional uh, roller skaters, so they're armed all over with pads everywhere. Now, all the, are the bulls being tested for steroids? Uh, <laughs> that's a big thing. And any cork bat uh, incidences? No cork bats. No, there was a report in the newspaper that they had a real bat, but they... Uh, <laughs> It well, you know, that's, no, that, all kidding aside, a buddy of mine who called me and said this was happening said they, there are a lot of people who think it was real bats. And I said, you're kidding. He goes, no, they use real bats. So then when you said wiffle ball bat, just now it made sense. But first of all, most women that are, you know, roller derby women, they're not usually women that like men anyway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so they, it seems like they want to beat the men more than most women would want to beat a man. There was one girl that, uh, honestly, before the race started, so we let the runners go at about five minutes to eight, and then we let the bulls go at eight. And this one girl I was scared of because I was, uh, I was walking back to, to give them instruction, and she was snarling and <laughs> scraping the ground. That's what bulls and, do, my friend. And she said, you better let me go now. And I, was, <laughs> and I was scared, and I told the guy who was, uh, was, was releasing the bulls that, to let him go at 59 and not 8 o'clock. Cause <laughs> so you, you ever have get... a tranquilizer gun on hand just in case one of the I, bulls get out of hand? As so, we grow and learn, uh, things will start to come that, with us that, that didn't last year, and that might be one of them. So you got guys, okay. and, and you let the guys run five minutes ahead, and so they just start running down the street, and then you release the, the bulls, and and they just start skating like bats out of hell after after these guys. Yeah, there's some. Pretty it, it is going to be kind of scary, that. isn't it? I mean, it's 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 really great. Uh, it, it, it's, it's scary on so many levels, Jay. It's scary no, that someone you, planned this. It's scary that people participate. And in you hear that noise that like are, uh, shoom shoom <laughs> shoom. You hear that noise coming. I at hate you. penis. <laughs> and then yeah, and then and, and then, then the, if you're going to get a woman, you know, who's on her yeah. period or premenstrual. Uh -huh. Oh Jesus uh -huh. Christ! That's the other good one. Yeah. Go to nolabulls. dot com and you have video there. Maybe? Well, the the best video out there is on YouTube. Just uh, search for "Running of the Bulls in New Orleans" and there's about five or six great videos out there that some people did. Mm -hmm. You can see uh, we had a lot of people and 33 bulls, and it was a, a real good time. And, and and how do you make money out of out of this thing? Uh, merchandise, uh, mm -hmm. t-shirts. Mm -hmm. um, we sell the Boda bags, little wine bags. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. yeah. You ever sell a dog sweater? <laughs> no, uh, no. You should look no. into that. We yeah, we we sell that. And what do you do for a living when you're not uh, you know putting this uh, this running of the bulls together? I'm uh, in wholesale wine distribution. I bet you are. All right, so good. Now, do the women get all uh, juiced up before they they head out? Do you think they drink a lot before Actually, they start? They are um, their their flat track roller derby team rules. Of don't allow them to drink while on four or uh, eight wheels. I see. So I see. They, they get uh, they get that done after. So they're completely sober and beating the shit out of these guys that are drunk. That's right. Can you imagine right. you're that... on a roller derby team and they don't allow you to get fucked up. Like no, that, that should be a requirement. No, you can't get. And by the way, for some reason, I don't know if there's roller derby in New York or not, but it's really big in New Orleans, isn't it, Mickey? Quite big. Yeah, they have a, a huge following, and then we <laughs> yeah, it's them huge. With a, a We're lot looking of at video of this right now. Yeah. Getting the shit beat out. Oh, of there's him. a little old man who's going to get beaten up. Yeah, yeah. Mickey, yeah. old men are beaten. Um, oh yeah, old men, little kids, you name it. <laughs> there's a lot of good beating. Well, Don't that's a good. Right. That's a good time. Uh, go to nola n o l a bulls dot com. Uh, Mickey Hanning, thanks. Yeah, I'm down in New Orleans all the time. Where do you hang out, uh, Mick? Anywhere that I would go to? Where do you? Uh, Powell's Lounge. I, I don't know. Uh, what... Powell's. Where is Powell's? Powell's is over by the uh, fairgrounds. Oh, you hang out at Powell. I don't. I don't know it, but I'll come in and I'll ask for you, and because uh, I'll be in there in a couple of weeks, and I'll and uh, we'll, you know, I'll lift one with you. I got I've never been to a roller derby game. Where do they have those at the at the uh, where were we? Auditorium? Where was you? Last they... year they were doing them at Mardi Gras World, but uh, I think they have a new venue this year out uh, around the lakefront. Okay, cool, man. Thanks a lot. Go to nolabulls dot com. Mickey Hanning has the running of the bulls, and uh, give us the date again. Next year will be July tenth uh, through the twelfth. July tenth uh, through the twelfth, and I guess the crowds are just going to be building bigger and bigger every year to see the beating of the men or something like that. Thank you so much, Mickey. Mickey Pleasure. Hanning. All right, there you go. The running of the bulls. Uh, so uh, wow. they they haven't posted the new pictures yet, Sean. Is that what you're saying? 
There's you pictures, know, but there's no video. I'm looking there's for there's video. no pictures from this year. There's pictures from last year. So obviously they're no, in no rush to get those up. No, there. they're so drunk and so forgetful <laughs> uh, back in New Orleans. So uh, do we need to stay here? Go away? What do we do? I'm, I've lost the lost track of time. What do we want? To, what do we do? We can go away or go to nine. Whatever you want. <clears throat> we can, we can go off to the top. Okay, yeah. well, I can take some. I'll take some calls at eight 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 seven eight three seventy six ten. The Jay Thomas Show. Happy birthday to Madison, uh, yeah, by the way. Thank you. Uh, Thirty six uh, years old. Shuli is with us. Hey, JTX is lot. our studio band today. Uh, yeah, David of Tennessee. The Jay Thomas Show. How are you, David of Tennessee? Hey, that was man. That was gay running the bulls with a bunch of women, but. Um, Hey, man, uh, to tell you, did you notice that... Wait a second, uh, hold on a second. It's not so gay when a bat hits you in the David, face, buddy. David, think about this. 33 roller derby bull dykes chasing <laughs> you down the street with plastic bats. Uh, it, it might be gay, but then doesn't wouldn't that excite you to be running from these women that absolutely hate men and can't wait to beat the shit out of you? No, they scare the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, picture, that's, picture a team of Nancy Graces on skates with wiffle ball bats. <laughs> a bunch of Porsche de Rossi's coming at you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead, David. Yes, go ahead. Uh, no, I just wanted to make an observation about Richie there. If you remember back when he was called in and they were setting this whole deal up and everything, he was really, you know, quiet and mealy-mouthed and wasn't really sure about it. This week he comes back after he's had his trip and he's like, yeah, you know, I woke her up at 3 a.m. and gave her a run for her money. I smacked her on the ass. It was like... It, it, it was like this beaten down, you know, divorced man. Now suddenly he's got this boost of confidence. He's, you know, he's ladies' man. It was, it was like two different people. Yeah. Well. So what you heard was a transformation, David, from two weeks ago. This beaten down, divorced guy, and now whatever it is, uh, Madison, these vaginal juices uh, seem to have. It's like an elixir, isn't no, I it, thought David? He seemed a bit arrogant a few weeks ago, don't you? You thought he was. I don't remember what he was like. You know, a few I'm weeks going ago. to get laid. Da, da, da. Right. But yeah. David of Tennessee, would you uh, drop a couple of grand to spend three unfettered uh, days and nights uh, with women and pools and the whole thing? Would you do that? Well, when I first when I first heard about it and everything, I went home, checked out the website and everything. Now I'm wishing I was divorced. Oh, you now you can go and they'll say you're at a. Um, what do you do for a living, David? Well, I drive a truck. They'll say you're at some sort of a trucking convention. <laughs> he's fucking his truck. I mean, he's at a truck. Thing. Yeah, he's got his dick caught in a in a in like a he tailpipe. He deliver some lettuce to the yeah, Dominican Republic. Yeah, the first annual trucking convention. Yeah, but no, man, uh, no. Could you ever that, uh, just leave and say you're on a trip? And you would drive the truck, park it, and then get in a plane and go someplace for a few days, and your family wouldn't Good know idea. it. Uh, Jay, I drive a truck. When I get home, my wife doesn't let my head out of her ass. I can't go to the store and get a beer for myself. That's what I mean. You'd have to pretend you've got a load, and you, but you don't. And you would oh, take no, 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 He's yeah. got a load, my friend, and yeah. Uh, yeah. he wants yeah, to get yeah, there to dump it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, Where the hell you been? Thanks a lot. All right, David. David was right. saying that uh, that the the vaginal juices the, it was an elixir of of life uh, for him. By the way, uh, someone just emailed me at jthomas.com. dot com. Did you know that Ellen DeGeneres and Portia De Rossi are going to get wed this weekend yeah, I knew that. in California? Wow! They are planning a small J. The uh, roller derby, <laughs> the women roller derby, made me realize that they are planning a small intimate ceremony. With only a few close friends and family, I wonder who's going to carry which one over the threshold at Home Depot. Is uh, what I'd like to. <laughs> I don't. Well, you Ellen know. is clearly the man. She is. You think well, so? you know what happens though. The longer they're in those relationships, uh, it seems like one woman, they, they, even Portia de Rossi, who I used to think was gorgeous, yeah. is kind of getting that square chin. And they they just you just start what, looking like a guy, mean, you know. Yeah, just kind of guy looking, you know. You get a square chin, you know. Mm. You she know, when you have be, sons like like, like I have, you know, JT, and then I have the two little ones. As they get older, uh, oh, your God. your 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 chin squares off. It's like testosterone or some shit. I don't know. I'm looking Something at all like the men in this room, and none of them have a square chin. Well, it's kind of a masculine. Your chin is much softer, and it mm. it goes down to. You know why that is? So that this is the truth. So the testicles don't ram up against. 
wasted and just, you That's know, true. injure That's themselves. That's Woman's fact. chin is very, right. very, very slow. <laughs> Todd of Baltimore, it's the Jay Thomas Show uh, with Shuley and Madison. How are you? And Howard 101. Yes, sir. Hey, Jay, I'm doing fine. I'd like to say I love the show. Love the show yeah. on Friday morning. Thank you. Uh, i got a question for you. You talk about the JT. He seems to have done pretty well for himself, successful songwriter. What about mm -hmm. the other two kids? How are they doing? Let me tell you. <laughs> well... Let me well, tell you. it's not going so well, to be honest. It's not going so well. Uh, they wrote a song, too, but it's about Jay, and it's not a yeah, very nice no. song. <laughs> well, you know what? They're, just, they're regular guys, but the other one, uh, one of them did a, had a, uh, did a bomb threat the other day, and uh, he, uh, he didn't is dealing. Mean it. He didn't mean it. He's uh, dealing with the authorities. They're normal kids. They're fine. I don't know how they're going to turn out. They're, they're okay. normal kids with a million dollars in the bank, smoking pot, yeah, I mean, and calling they, in bomb threats. Yeah, I mean, they're... Yeah, they they um they 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 they've uh, they're very good students. They have uh, stolen uh, things. Uh, they have smoked pot. They've stolen <laughs> booze out of the cabinet. They fingered girls in the bedroom. In one the of house. yeah, they got blowjobs from men and what? women. Everything's happened in my family. Oh, that's right, the rainbow party. <laughs> oh, it's been all happened. And so uh, the weird thing is, is that I just don't want to be bothered at the club in a couple of years. And I keep saying to them, you know, you think I'm fucking kidding you? And I mean this, and I think everybody ought to say this to these kids. And, and JT, back me up. I go, look, I really, I love having you, and I'm glad you're here and all that. But at some point, I'm going to stop be feeling guilty or whatever you feel that, that and I need to, 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 like, save your ass all the time. In a couple of years, uh, uh, one's going to be, like, you know, 18 soon, and then the little one will be 18 in, like, three or four years. And at some point, uh, if you keep fucking up, I cut the money off because it's my money. I made it. Mm -hmm. And fuck you if you're going to make my life miserable or be a drug addict or whatever the fuck it is. So, I mean, do you think they listen to me, JT? Do you think they believe that I would just cut them loose? Because I would. I would. Uh, I think they believe that, yeah, especially when you have that die uh, broke book around that says spend your money before you die, don't leave it to your kids. Yeah, I believe in that, too. You're yeah. supposed to. Well, are they I spoiled, believe... Jay? No, they're you know actually they're really, really great, and they're just getting into a little trouble. It's all right. Their, their names are Sam and Jake. Yeah, they're great. Well, one night, you know, my wife and I... Uh, one know, of them's got a dick the size of this whole studio, and he's well, like... Well, that's nice, JT, How that you know that the size one? of your brother's dick. And he's... Mm -hmm. but, Wait a minute. So so we live in California, and so my illegitimate son comes out of nowhere. My wife is going, well, we can't just tell She's people. She's gorgeous, too, Sally. Right. So we can't just tell people, and, you know, it's California. We have to go to therapy with the whole family. And the children have to, you know, and I go, gee, we got to go do all of that shit. Sally and knew so, that you'd had a kid and given it up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Everybody, yeah, they knew it. So, so then um, she said I told her that on the first date. I said that's what my conversation wow. was on the first fucking date, but I don't think so. So um, so one night, and I was a big gambler, and I'd lost a whole bunch of money, and we sit down, and, and uh, I guess uh, Sam, who's now almost 18, he starts to cry and stuff. And uh, my wife said, what's the matter? I said, well, Dad promised to take me uh, to uh, Red, Red Robin. Robin or some shit, right? And I said, you know, I just had lost five grand on fucking football. I don't feel like taking... One of my brats to the Shitty fucking Red thing. Robin, whatever, and it's expensive there. Well, it's and, and the but therapist I, said not to tell him who JT was. No, that, the was therapist shopping. said be very careful. We don't want the kids to be injured mentally and all the ten grand is what the therapist was hoping for, right? Right. Mm. So, so now we go to the Red Robin, and I get up in the middle of my dinner, and I go, "All right, if I pro my wife says, you know, the therapist said if you promise, and I go, "All right, fucking." Pro so we go and. And there's the football game is on. The Sunday night game is on. So I throw a couple of grand at that, right? And within minutes, I'm down two, three touchdowns. Within minutes. And it's two-for-one margarita night at the Red Robin. So I get these two giant margaritas. Time I'm down. Shit face. <laughs> I'm seven grand down. And he's playing the video games and all of that. And he comes back to the table. I guess he must be, I don't know, eight or nine. I don't know what the fuck he is. Eight years old. And so... He sits down, and, and I look up with these bleary eyes, and I said, Hey, you know that guy, JT? He goes, Yeah. I go, You know who he is? Who is he, Dad? He's your brother. <laughs> and 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 he goes, he, I'll never forget it. He had like a chocolate malt and a balloon. And he goes, What? When did Mom have him? I said, I said Mom didn't have him. I had him with another woman, oh. and my kid goes, "Oh, my, 
Oh, Something now all, all of a sudden, Jay. all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, my wife's face starts coming into my psyche, and I and I'm I I, I, I now I'm so nervous because I know you fucked up. I fucked up completely. Wow. So then he starts asking me questions. He goes, "Why did you give him away?" And I said, "Well, you know," and I'm trying to explain that we didn't know each other. Sure, told him he was asking me for money for video games. No, <laughs> so he said, "Would you ever? Would would you either? Would you?" ever give me or Jake away like that? And I wanted to say, well, you know, it's early in the evening. What do you want me to tell you? I don't know how it's going to turn out. So now we get back in the car. I've given him whatever he wants, candy, sugar, whatever he wants. We get in the car and I go, now look, uh, this is our secret, you know. And he goes, why? Does mom doesn't know about JT? I go, no, your mom knows about him, but we're going to go meet with somebody. And when they tell you that JT is your brother, you have to act surprised. And he goes, well, when's that going to... I go, look, you just can't tell... Don't tell your mom that I that I told you. So we get back to the house, and he's a, you know, a fucking kid. And kids will not only disappoint you, but they're lying little pricks, and we all know it. And they will do exactly what you shouldn't do, right? Which you're not mm-hmm. supposed to. We get in, and he goes away, and I walk in. My wife said, how was it? And I'm thinking, oh, it was, you know, good. And next thing you know, the little one runs down the stairs. Mom, mom, you know JT? I'm thinking, <laughs> I didn't tell him not to tell the other fucking idiot. He's our brother. And well, that so so they're excited that that JT was a brother, and of course I'm completely drunk. And I go, look, it was two for one margarita night, and uh, you know it saved us ten thousand bucks. And so that's how they found out, and it just kind of went on. But all of that therapy shit and all of that, I mean, we just never we just never went through it. I don't know. And what's great about JT is when he comes to visit, they tell him shit about themselves that they're smoking pot or they're drinking well, or he's whatever. Big brother. And, yeah, then, and I tell Jay and Sally, but they don't know that right. because Sally says we don't want to break their trust with you. That's right. Oh. That, that so JT he's like every time they tell him something. Yes, right. of course. Well, I'm they, trying to. I got to stay on Sally's good side. <laughs> right. No, well, so we catch one smoking pot, you know. And so I, my wife says, you know, JT told me that one of them smoking pot, and I said, it wasn't your stash, was it? No, no. <laughs> God damn it, I say, God damn it, I'm going to kill him and all this kind of shit, you know. So she says, no, 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 we have to figure out how he would know how we would have found out because he's such a good little sneak. And JT says, God, don't tell him I told. So I say, here's the story. Tell them the last time I was down in their area. They live in a private area. Dad's always like creeping around down here, like trying to see who didn't do the dishes. I, I can't take it. Tell them that I smelled it. Like that, right? So now one of them has obsessive compulsive disorder. For those of you who have children that have a disorder, it is the greatest thing in the world to play to that disorder. And (laughs) this kid cannot tell a lie because he's obsessive compulsive. So what we did was, listen to this, Madison, Mm -hmm. we decided to accuse the older one of smoking dope. Mm -hmm. To get the younger one to admit to it. You got it. Good move. Thank you. Would have never worked in my house. but Well, they both lied. They both lied. They punished him anyway. And they blamed it on the guys next door. That was the other one who smoked tons of pot. I remember but my yeah. dad finding a roach in the ashtray of my car and going, what is this? And I look him right in the eyes and go, I don't know. I don't know how it got here. It nice. Somebody must have planted it here. It's not me. Just thinking that for some reason they would buy that Well, that my parents bullshit. bought it. They sell my weed in my freezer. He, my dad went in there for the vodka. And out comes the weed, and he's like, "What's this?" I'm like, "Never mind." And he just forgot about it. Why it would you fine. put weed in the freezer? I don't where know. You, Somebody how told me to put you? it in there. Yeah, I need to put it. In this the was a month ago. Oh well, you're a grown woman for Christ's sakes. All right, you're nuts. All right, you put uh, hey, let's go you to James. In the freezer? No, James uh, on the Jay Thomas show with Madison, Julie, and JTX. And by the way, I'm going to party like a rock star. You want to uh, hear the song? Find out all about it. Uh, go to JTX uh, Music, uh, uh, iTunes, and tonight Arlene's Grocery, uh, Stanton, and um, and Ludlow. Yes, uh, James of Philadelphia. Yes, sir. Yeah, I just want to say JTX. The band rules. You guys are good. Thank you very much. You know, hopefully you guys have another single coming out. Yeah, well, right. thank you very much. And I just made my own uh, video, too. We wrecked my whole apartment. For real, it's on uh, YouTube. So just go to YouTube and type in JTX and 
Leave a real, you know, crazy. This is the fucking comment. payback for giving him away to do the show and <laughs> play the and songs. And the so payback funny. that you, t- the, the way Thank you, you told your sons about JT, that's why they, they're doing the bomb threats and the pod and the finger. Oh, absolutely, girls. I'm that's sure. Why. I'm sure. I've no, they're fingering girls because they're kids, they're boys, and they want to finger. Look, my wife accuses me of making the cats piss on the pillows. I mean, I get blamed for everything. She pushed a pillow in my face and said, "Look, your cat pissed." I go, "Mike, what do you mean?" My I love, cat I love when the animal does the something fucked up. It's your animal. It's your yeah, the cat, your cat dog. Pissed on the pillow. I, I said, well, it's your pillow he pissed on. Apparently, it's your problem that you're having. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 oh, go ahead, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, uh, my, my, question, my real question is, uh, Madison, for your birthday, yeah. which, mm-hmm. which guy in JTX uh, are you going to bang? I bang yes. any one of them. They're all pretty cute. Oh, 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 oh that's all right. <laughs> well, why don't you put their names in a hat? Okay. Um, Kevin Wilson, like the Mormons Matt, did? Matt, yeah, yeah, and Carrie yeah, Weaver. Well, sure. Well, if you're Mormon, you could have all three of them. You know, there's four actually. Right. Hey, get this guy's uh, address off the uh, air, and we'll send him a CD. You get it off the air, and you right, send him good. a CD. All right. <laughs> Here's Jay's number eight zero five. Yeah, thanks. Dad helping uh, out. James of Philadelphia. <laughs> hey, the Jay Thomas Show with all those aforementioned people, and it's uh, Howard one hundred one. Ooh. Machine. Now I spend my days in my brother's truck Drinking beer from a slurpy cup I eat mac and cheese all day long Yeah, I bought cigarettes off my mom I lost my wallet, my ID it Makes no difference to me What up, yo? Here we go Gonna get high so we don't stay low Nothing matters even if we To the Jay Thomas Show. Call 888 Stern 101. We'll be back with more of the Jay Thomas Show. Jay Thomas Show on Howard 101. The Howard 100 News Week in Review. This week, Artie returns from rehab. I fell off the uh, heroin wagon about seven weeks ago. Sal gets invited and then uninvited to the wedding. I'm telling you right now, you're mentally ill. All right. And you invited him to your wedding. And a Jesus twin remembers his brother. He was getting sick and I I put him in Cedar sinai Mental Hospital one week before that incident. The Howard 100 News Week in Review. Tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern and Howard 101. It's obvious. You really enjoy your serious satellite radio. The sports, comedy, entertainment, news, 100% commercial-free music channels. But the real question is, are you getting the most out of your serious experience? I mean, are you only listening in your car? What about the office, your home, mom's house, the second car, your boat, tractor, whatever? The point is, you can add extra radios to your account for just $6.99 a month for each additional subscription. Only $6.99. And now you can save on new radios and accessories, too, like 130 bucks off the hot portable Sirius Stiletto 2, which is also an MP3 player, or save up to 50% on other radios and accessories. Just keep your new and existing subscription for at least six months. Go to Sirius.com slash Radio 2. That's S-I-R-I-U-S dot com slash Radio 2 for all the details. Or call 888-SIRIUS-1. Sirius Satellite Radio. The best radio on radio. Hey, Tom. You look troubled. I am. My business just got rejected for an accounts receivable loan. What am I going to do? You know, a friend of mine just got an accounts receivable funding line for his small business from Anchor Funding Services. Anchor funds businesses that have accounts receivable within 24 hours. It was fast, no application fees or hidden charges. Sounds great. What's their number? Just call Anchor Funding at 866-950-6669. Write it down, 866-950-6669. Or you can go to afs-cash.com. That's a fs-cash.com Life can be full of risks. One thing you shouldn't take a risk with is your family's health insurance. If you're self-employed or an individual and you need health insurance, you need to make this free call and see how the mega life and health insurance company can help you. 
They specialize in helping the self-employed and individuals just like you who need flexible health insurance to get it. Don't take risks with your family's health insurance. It's not worth it. If you're self-employed or an individual and you need quality family health insurance, call right now. 866-501-MEGA. 866-501-MEGA. 866-501-6342. Market and plans vary by state. Not licensed in New York. Exclusions and limitations apply. North Richland Hills, Texas. Policy series on file. Association group plans where available require association membership. How's your memory these days? Are you forgetting things like names and numbers? What you just read or heard? Are you misplacing things like keys or glasses? Or having trouble concentrating? If so, please listen carefully. These mild memory problems are a normal part of aging, but they can grow with time and seriously affect your job, home, or social life unless you act now. Because for the first time, there's an amazing new memory booster called MemoProve, a scientific breakthrough based on 10 years of research that is a safe and effective one-a-day tablet that protects and improves short-term memory, increases concentration, and boosts mental alertness. It's the only product that contains neuropeptides, which are clinically tested to improve memory in just 30 days. Find out how you can get a free 60-day supply of MemoProve and experience the power of MemoProve firsthand. Call 1-800-462- 4169 1-800-462-4169 This offer is limited, so find out how you can get your free 60-day supply of Memo Proof today. Call 1-800-462-4169 1-800-462-4169 Shipping and handling not included. Shh, Ashley Madison. $49 doesn't buy you much today. Maybe a romantic dinner for one. Can I get you another water, sir? Or perhaps tickets to a football game in beautiful Slovenia. Buy the throw ball. I don't understand. Or how about a full tank of gas for your shiny new lawnmower? Yeah, well, sport, there is one place where $49 can change your life. That place, AshleyMadison.com. Now, for less than the price of a romantic dinner at, oh, I don't know, Big Burger, you can become a member of AshleyMadison.com, the number one dating service for married people. Oh, yeah, you heard me right. AshleyMadison.com is a service dedicated to helping people in relationships <clears throat> find a little something on the side, if you know what I mean. So if you're happily married but uh, unhappy in the bedroom, why spend thousands on a divorce lawyer when you only have to spend $49 at AshleyMadison.com. Hey, it's true. Money can't buy you happiness. Yeah, unless it's $49 at AshleyMadison.com. Try it now and change your life today. When was the last time someone offered you a second chance to save thousands of dollars? If you owe the IRS or state at least $15,000, American Tax Relief is offering you a second chance to eliminate up to 85% of your delinquent taxes. Thousands of honest, hardworking Americans have turned to American Tax Relief for the help they need. Look, your tax problem isn't going to go away. In fact, it's only going to get worse unless you get help. Call 1-800-622-5651. Now you have qualified help in dealing with the IRS. This is the second chance you never had before to save up to 85% on the taxes you owe. Get the second chance you deserve and save up to 85% on your delinquent taxes. Call American Tax Relief for a free consultation to see how much money they can save you. Call one 800 6 6225651 call right now for your second chance 1-800-622-5651 that's 1-800-622-5651 you're listening to the J Thomas show call 888 stern 101 we're back with more of the J Thomas show J Thomas show on Howard 101 don't know why there's, There's no, no sun up in the sky. Stormy weather. Ira the weatherman uh, is with us. Uh, Ira. Good morning, Jay. Good morning. Um, Good morning, Madison. Happy birthday. Do you, to you, do you see? Do you see those guys behind you in the in the big fishbowl there, Ira? The yes, band. Yes, I do. Good morning, Ira. That's it's my son JT, Kevin band. Wilson, yeah, Kevin Wilson, Matt Van, and Kerry Weaver. Now, Ira, that's my son, but I gave him up uh, for adoption. No, you, know you did not, JJ. He's <laughs> no, I wonderful. Did. Hey, Ira, what I is know the he weather? Is Ira, what is the weather at the Tennessee Orphanage today? 
Tennessee <laughs> orphanage, oh, it's going to be around oh, 100 man. degrees. Yeah, it's going to be bad. <laughs> and it's a lot of crying. <laughs> a lot of beatings. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> now, listen. Now, now all right, here's the deal. it's an orphanage. <laughs> the child was born. The child was born. Uh, the mother and I didn't know each other that well, and we didn't know what to do, so we gave the kid away. How hey, do you her? Her, you I don't her. believe it. I can't believe it. JT I did it. Is a marvelous, marvelous. Well, I didn't know person. that then. Right? No, I, I didn't, didn't know, know that. that. At the time. If I knew he was going to be successful, I'd have kept his ass. He I was just know. another wine and kid. Yeah, at that time. he was another brat at that time. Hey, Ira, what is the weather in our now, hometown? Now, Ira, are Detroit you disappointed today? in me? You've known me. We've known each other for 20 years. Are you disappointed in me for doing this? No, I am not. <laughs> All right. But I don't Have think you ever... a prick. You are the best <laughs> talk jock in, in the world, New York right? City. But, Ira, I gave a for the tiny... the world. And I never tell you what I did to him. I put him... We didn't, we didn't know who to give him to. So we wrapped him in swaddling clothes. <laughs> We gave him a crucifix, and we put him in a we put him in a trash bin outside of a Baptist uh, orphanage. Shit happened. I did. I did. And you know what we did? Here's what we decided: if the if the truck came to pick up the trash, we would have taken him back. But that was the deal. The truck never came, and the little Baptist people came out, and they they took him in the orphanage. Do you do you think I'll burn in hell for that, Ira? No, you won't. All right, thanks. You'll okay. be doing middays for the rest of your life. <laughs> that's right. Boy, you know what? You're right. That's that be fucking. That's why you do... never beat Howard. <laughs> yeah. Jay, when you do the morning show, yes, everybody wakes up to your show really, really happy. <laughs> everybody is happy. Even, Everyone listening is happy. Even up in the Seven Seas restaurant, <laughs> they have the show on. Where and is the me, Seven Seas restaurant? That, that is in Co-op City up in the Bronx. This is your own Seven sponsorship? Seas. Now, now you say that the Seven Seas heard that it was Madison's birthday. Have they yes. brought a little, little cake? Well, little? I brought a little cake for Madison. Oh, oh that wonderful. It's in made, my pants. <laughs> made by the Chinese people at the Seven Seas uh, restaurant. You know what's funny is Howard... It's Howard. Greek... Restaurant. Oh, it's Howard a Greek and restaurant. his Thank Howard and so his much. staff all talk about going to Nobu, like the Thank fancy you. Nobu. Yes. We have the seven seas <laughs> on this show. Which I thought was Chinese, and I just found out it's a Greek place. I don't know. And the card. Oh, all right, read great. It, hey, read it on air. Read oh, the card. Okay, okay. I'm but it's from a, a drugstore or Warm something? Warm wishes for a happy birthday. Okay, all right. Uh, to That's Madison, nice. all the things you hope for, all the things you dream about, all the things that make you happiest. Mm -hmm. These mm -hmm. are what I wish for you on your okay, birthday. Okay, okay. You know what? As always, I can't... from Ira Hershaft. Okay. Thank you so oh, much, Ira. Jesus Christ. Yes, have... can I fist Thank you? you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Happy, happy, about to happy birthday, oh. baby. Hey, baby. Yeah. All right, good. Ira, what's the weather? I'm out in California. Ira, what's the weather out in California? It's around 86 it? degrees and the it, beautiful, well, beautiful skies. Ira, it's uh, 6.15 in the morning here. It's not 86 yet. It's you around 67 <laughs> degrees. All right, right hold on now. a minute. I'm a little dyslexic. When I, when I got up this morning, uh, this is unusual here, there was thunder and there were clouds. Oh. Is there any rain expected here in the California area? Oh, not goodness. today. Today really? it's, okay. you're going to have poly cloudy sky. Now, you know what, Ira? I've never done this, but we have a guy on line two, Michael of Connecticut, who says he is a real weatherman and wants to dispute some of your weather. Mike, where are you a weatherman, Mike? Hey, Jay, I'm in Connecticut. How you doing, man? I'm the Good. king of all weathermen because, of course, in Howard World, everybody's king, so it's, thank you for having me on here. And I know, but what, what channel are you on? Do you have a television? Like queen. Uh, most where? recently, uh, mm -hmm. Fox 61 in Connecticut, WTIC TV. How? And I, wow. Oh, that's a big deal. Yeah, I have a bit of, I've been doing it for 15 years. I've been on CBS Radio, too. And uh, I have a quick proposal for you, Jay, for the show and for Ira. Uh, Hold on but, a minute. When you said Ira, <laughs> it was kind of a put-down, wasn't it? <laughs> well, a professional one, yeah. There's a lot you of want to dance, asshole? <laughs> you want to hear something? We had uh, Al Roker on another show that I did in New York. and We brought Ira on, and Ira said it was going to snow April 1st. And Al Roker... Did not like that Ira he was mocked, in the studio. He laughed at it. No, but this is true. Did not like that Ira was in the studio. And Al Roker said, I promise you, it will not snow on April 1st. This was about, I'd say, 10 years ago. Yeah. And it snowed April 1st, just like Ira said. There you go. 
there you go. And so be very, very careful, uh, Michael, because yeah. what I want you to do is to, uh-huh. you, I'll have some sort of a contest between you two, and exactly. then we'll find out. If, okay. How so big you are is from- your Doppler? Yeah. Very quickly, very quickly, Jay, if I may. Uh, I yes, friend, go ahead. I have, I have a friend with me here just wants to say a quick hello to Madison on her birthday. Uh, hello. Who, who? Yeah, uh, this is John Hamm. <laughs> and uh, Madison, uh, I am married, but I just wanted to say a very special happy Who's birthday John to Hamm? Madison. And I know I'm in your dreams. Oh, who you squirt inside me just once? <laughs> who is of John course. Hamm? Oh, he's from Mad Men. Right. John is gone and, and King of All Weathermen. That Madison, was your I, impersonation I, of the guy from Mad Men? I believed him. Madison, Jesus. I do have a modest proposal for you, but I, I'm off the air. Michael, Michael, Michael. Anyway, Michael. Yeah, yeah. Hold it, everybody. Hold it, hold it. This is why they only give the weather people like like a minute <laughs> okay. uh, usually. Okay, here we go. Here's my question. And Ira, are you ready for the question? Yes, All right? I am. I'm okay. ready. When will the next full hurricane strike i'll let michael uh uh, i'm gonna go with you first give me a date when you think the next full hurricane will strike september 11th oh thank you he did it just like that he doesn't use a doppler not a radar nothing a full-fledged hurricane will strike somewhere in the united states september 11th okay michael that's the challenge because yeah, he has no hold degree one. or anything. He's he has no guy. degree. What is your degree? Where did you he get He sounds like he's about to uh, keel over from emphysema, too, Jay, if I may. So actually what no, I for No, no, no. He never. doesn't smoke. He doesn't. I, wanted to see sp- I wanted to, you know, you mentioned that. Michael, Al-Roger. Michael of WTIC in uh, in Connecticut. What, what, when will the first full-fledged hurricane strike the United States? <laughs> well, Ira was uncanny because first of all, he went for the 9-11 thing, but that's right Give around date. the time. Oh, he, actually, oh, he, oh, he picked 9-11. I didn't, oh, I didn't get that. <laughs> yes, oh, he did. Very prescient of him. But Okay, say, go ahead. You know, he's kind of in the ballpark, somewhere around between the 5th and the 15th of September. Oh, so the date. fraud is close? Oh! Yeah, the fraud's really close. Oh! The fucking fraud is really close, the right? The thing is, uh-huh. if we wish for it to happen, that's not a good thing. We're not but wishing for anything. Okay, give us a date, and we'll have you back, and we'll see. It's it's very soon. All right, if an e- we're talking about East Coast, right, Jay? The I don't give a. I don't care where it strikes. All right, so it could be East Coast or your well, or Gulf of Mexico, where else New are Orleans there? again. Yeah, All right, it's it, not going to hit New Orleans. We go uh, ahead. God forbid, of course. Uh, okay, Ira, have, East Coast or Gulf of Mexico? Like. I'll have Ira call it. East okay. Coast or Gulf of Mexico? Ira. Gulf of Mex- Mexico. Gulf of Mexico, September 11th. Oh. He doesn't hesitate with all your weather bullshit. Give it to me, Mike. Florida, September 4th. Ladies Somewhere and gentlemen, Florida. you call that a prediction? <laughs> there you go. Florida, <laughs> September 4th. All right, Michael of... Uh, if, you ever need a, if you ever need a backup weather... You know, you mentioned Al Roker a minute ago, uh, Jay, which was which was great because even Willard Scott had to have an Al Roker. I would like to offer you my services as Ira's backup. Every okay, sure. Man has well, we'll see how the September off. thing... Okay. Thanks a lot. There's the How challenge now. Happen? Thank you, Michael. Goodbye, Mike. Fox right, 61. Goodbye, okay, Mike, go. you loser. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, uh, uh, Ira, give us the weather for Detroit, where uh, JT was raised and the band JTX uh, calls home. What's the weather in Detroit? Detroit, it's going to be 80 degrees on the beautiful skies. Mm-hmm. Nice. Hey, Ira, and how from uh, the Dominican weather. Republic, what is the uh, temperature inside one of those hookers' asses right now? 94 degrees. 94 in the Dominican Hot Republic. And buggy. Uh, and down on uh, Ludlow Street tonight, it's going to mm-hmm. be around 70 degrees. On the, the poly cloudy sky mm-hmm. at Arlene's grocery. At Arlene's grocery. All right, great, great. Yes, Shirley, go ahead. Uh, I was done. Okay. <laughs> Madison, where would you like to know the weather? Oh, okay. I would like to know the weather in Los <gasps> Feliz, California, where John Ham lives. Los it's Feliz. around 86 degrees. Always going to be 86 <laughs> degrees. Yeah. Okay, 86. Anybody catching okay. on to this theme yet? <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. Hey, in a few minutes, we'll have a guy come on. He has a website called Who Can I Sue? And you go on it, you will tell people, is this right, idea. Sean? <laughs> you tell people who, what the thing is, and then they email you back, and they tell you whether they think you have a lawsuit or not. Is that it? Yeah. Um, basically, they, they tell you if, the, if you, you have a winning lawsuit, because uh, a lot of times there are lawsuits that, right. that you can pursue, but you won't make any money, and they don't, they don't want to handle them. Huh. But they give you free advice at this uh, Yeah, yeah. They, they used- 
There used to be this AM uh, radio show out in L.A. where the people would call up and ask this guy if they had had a case. And it was just so funny to hear the stories that people had, you know. My neighbor's dog shit on my lawn. Hold and, on a minute. Uh, That's a great yeah, idea. When him. Curtis Wolf comes on, we will test him. Okay. If you think you have a lawsuit. I have one. Uh, call, have one. No, no. I'm talking about those that no, I care no, no, about. No. Every Jew's got to put that lawsuit. No, I have lawsuit. one to ask him. It's legitimate. 888, okay. 783-7610 will be on in a few minutes. And uh, you can ask Curtis Wolf. Uh, you will listen to your lawsuit, and we'll and we'll see if uh, is Curtis an attorney, Sean? Is he a, just run the thing, or is he a? Oh, he's he's a lawyer. Yeah, he's a yeah, lawyer. He's a lawyer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's a jurist uh, thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Hey, Norman, Jay, Jay, you into the uh, Detroit Lions this year, you said? Yeah, I like this guy, John Kitna. He's been banging around forever. Um, you know, he's like a the guy. quarterback, that, no, John Kitna, you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. I'm into, I love the, you know, the Saints, of course, my number one team. My number two team is going to be the Detroit Lions this year. Wow. That's really odd like for yeah. Kitna at, at right. that. Like, that's so weird. Uh, he's been there for a couple of years. Yeah, he's been yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he has. Yeah. And and you know what? Like I Madison. Just, yeah. <laughs> what? That's right. It's like Madison. Oh, boy. Why uh, is that? By the way, speaking of Fox, uh, somebody just sent me this. Uh, I guess it was yesterday morning. They had Ernie Borgnine on, who was the old actor. Oh, we have the, audio of this? Ernie? Yes, of Mikhail's oh, Navy. Are you friends with so him? I've been on that. Uh, yeah, I know Ernie. So oh. I've been on that show a Ernie, couple of times. They and they're nice people, but they're very square. They're like the guy Mike we just had on. Um, they got that. So, so Ernest Borgnine is there. He's 91. And speaking of birthdays, I guess it was close to his 91st birthday, and he's in incredible shape. And so um, this is, and and of course, they're now nervous uh, that the FCC is going to get him because of Ernie Borgnine or something. But they, How about the tons of lies they tell? They're worried about the word masturbate and getting up. <laughs> you're, t- you're saying the whole Fox network tells lies? Well, not necessarily lies, but yeah. I think fair they, balanced, they distort. Fair and balanced. Yeah. Let, let's not forget the uh, on the ticker last week. Oh, Unexpected stop, eight die in bus accident. <laughs> that was on the ticker of Fox <laughs> News last okay. week. This is from Fox and Friends, uh, and this is um, Gretchen Carlson, Steve uh, Ducey, and, and Two Brian. Two heavyweights uh, when it comes to Kilman. morning talk. Is it Kilman, whatever his name is? Yeah. And this is Ernie Ernie Borgnon, and uh, except for the time I carried the newswoman, Allison uh, Camerata, on my back, this is the second most exciting thing that's happened. Let's listen. <laughs> you're 91 years old. You look fantastic. You look like you're, you're in nice. your late 60s, <laughs> early 70s. What's the secret? I don't dare tell you. <laughs> No meat. You don't eat meat. I masturbate a lot. Okay, I think. Uh, (laughs) Thank you, Ernie. You hear what the woman said? What? 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 Now that's shocking over there at uh, at at Fox. He masturbates. We got to get Ernie back. Eighty-year-olds are masturbating right now. This band's going to learn to. uh, This band's going to live to be really old. I think. Well, yeah, <laughs> and help. But it's good. You know what? It really is good to hear that. You know, you, you wonder when's it going to stop. It should never. Mm-hmm. You should. You know, they they should have trouble closing the lid when you die. You know, so. right? Like that's my my. And that's a not, big shock over there. They were going nuts. My fear were, is not dying. It's it's my penis dying before I physically die. <laughs> but here's the problem with Ernie. He's so old. He forgot that everybody was miked. So he yeah. spo- He whispered right into the guy's into the uh, mic. lavalier. <laughs> I masturbate a lot. Yeah. Bring that boom mic down. <laughs> Norb. Is it Norb? Your name is Norb of Boston? Nor- N-O-R-B? That's correct, Nor- Jay. We've spoken before. Um, I just got a couple of questions for you. First of all, I'm not masturbating, and I don't give a shit about the weather. But I'm just curious. Do your kids listen to your show at all? No. God forbid. In fact, a few minutes ago, I, gl- I was pissed off. J- JT does. But no, and my, if, if people report this to my wife, yeah, I get in real trouble. Real, I mean... There you go. Bad My trouble. My second question for you, Jay, is what's your favorite place to eat in New Orleans? I'm taking a kid back to school next week, and hopefully there won't be a hurricane. Giacomo's. There's just so many Giacomo's. Yeah, it's on um, Oak Street, right next to the Maple Leaf, um, where you can hear music after you eat. But ja- and go go visit Jack at Giacomo's and tell him uh, J- J- Jack listens to this show and listen. And I, yeah, so ca- Jack was a Coast Guard captain. It's a great place, Giacomo's. It's how old are the kids? Uh, mine's oh. going to be 21 this November. Tulane, right? Oh, yeah. Tulane? Uh, no, Loyola. Oh, okay. Loyola? Okay. Catholic next, kid? Okay, good. Mm-hmm. Norb. Okay, yeah, go to Giacomo's. You'll have a good time there. Tell him I sent you. I actually he, went, he'll I buy actually you a drink a, and stuff. He'll give you all kind of stuff. Yeah. I actually went to a Saints game accidentally with uh, Jock. 
You did? Yeah, he was. We, we, we were in Giacomo's, and you know we met him, and he's a nice guy, and so we're. So you already there. know the restaurant that you've already been yeah, there. So but it's... there's so many great places. I just didn't know what you thought was the best. I'll so, tell you, uh, there's can... another good place. You go into the uh, um, uh, Marini, you know, which is like near the French Quarter. Yeah. And and it's a place called like the 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 Apple Barrel. It's a bar downstairs, and there's a little restaurant above this place called the Apple the Apple Barrel. And it's just like a little joint, and the guy cooking doesn't have a shirt on and stuff, and it's kind of gross looking. But the food's delicious. But it's above this bar called the Apple Barrel, you know. You got David Hasselhoff making you food. It's really weird. You go in, and it's like you know, sweats flying, but the food's delicious. Oh, <laughs> great, you know? great. I know, well, I know. I don't think there's a lot of rules in the restaurants. So try that joint down there. Is Antoine the, uh, the, still any good? I was there twenty. Yeah, years. yeah. They're all still. Yeah, they're yeah. all. They're, you know, food all right. is great. So many great places. All right, Norb. Thank you very much. Thanks. This is like a morning show in Poughkeepsie uh, with the kids. And uh, by the way, JT, after this, I owe you nothing. Okay? All right, good stuff. Okay, JTX is here. Thanks for I'm having party us. Like Thanks to your staff room. in there, Garrett and Sean yeah, and Eric and all, Madison and uh, uh, Ke- Kevin Wilson, uh, Matt Van, and uh, Kerry Weaver. We keep saying their names because parents like to hear the kids' names on the air. Uh, Andy of Ohio, yes, sir. How are you, Andy? Hi, Jay. Yeah, I have a question for you. I had a great show, by the way, but uh, mm-hmm. I wanted to ask you what you thought of if I'm an organ donor and uh, mm-hmm. if mm-hmm. A men with big penises, if they when they die, if they wanted to donate their organ, mm-hmm. would that be a legitimate thing to do? Well, you mean like on your driver's license when you ch- when you check in the back of your license, is the penis something that the state would want from you after you mm. died in a car accident? Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. Yeah. I don't know if that's an organ, but I'll tell you what you ought to do. They they usually just uh, I don't know what state. Do you live in Ohio? Where is your driver's license from? Uh, actually, Illinois. I've been trucking through Ohio. Okay, Illinois. Do they have a place in the back to mark uh, the organ donation? Yes. You should specify penis. <laughs> I really mean it. I think that you. I think you should specify organ. Uh, you detachable could, penis. Go ahead. Detachable penis. Great song. There you go. Now you want your penis to live on forever, Andy? Is that the deal? Most people want yeah. their heart to be given to someone, yeah. or their lungs to give life to people, or or kidney or something. You want your penis to live on. Yes, I think yeah, I think that their heart could beat you know nonstop, and I think the penis could bring more joy than a new heart or new lungs. To be honest with you, if they were just given the gift of a bigger penis. Now you have a big, huge penis. Is that why you're such a giving person? Well, I don't know if it's so much big and, and huge. I don't know. It's about eight, eight to eight and a quarter inches, and uh, mm-hmm. I mean, it's I don't know if it's huge. I've been actually trying to get on Howard for that pretty penis contest, but I can't ever get through. Eight so. and a half Julie inches. Can, Are you Julie. measuring from your ass? Or? Surely, <laughs> surely. This guy called in today, and he's an organ donor, and he's very proud of his penis. Uh, can, is there any way you can help him get in the pretty penis? Yeah, Sean, contest? just write down his number for me, and I'll have his okay. number. Okay, uh, Andy, we're going to try and get you in the pretty penis. I don't know that I've ever seen a pretty penis, <laughs> but um, but who's 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 judging, Shuli, the pretty penis? Uh, I'm not. That's uh, that's one thing I know for sure. Okay, so. Andy of Ohio, uh, believe it or not, it people always say, "Isn't it who you know in the business?" And yes, my yeah, friend, it absolutely is. That's it is. So, Andy, good luck to you. In Unfortunately, the penis you only know me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And we're going to put your penis into Shuley's hands and let him run with it. Okay. Hey, thank that thank you, sir. I know that it came out wrong, but that's uh, that's how it had to come out. All so, right. uh, Jeff of Tampa, it's the Jay Thomas Show. Yes, Tampa. Uh, yes, Jeff. How are you? Yes, Tampa. Tampa. Uh, first of all, I thought it was funny how uh, Shuley's uh, Irish sounds just like his Jeff the Drunk. <laughs> Thank <Kinda> you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was just you know, you're like me, Shuley. You you do one voice and it's yours. <laughs> yeah, I do. I sound like nobody. Like Harry Shearer. You want me to tell you the weather at your mom's? All right, right. Ira, stop it. <laughs> oh, Harry got pissed off when I said, you know, Harry, all your voices sound just like right. you. I didn't like that, and he says, I don't get paid like the rest either. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Hey, by the way, those nifty. Um, those those nifty uh, what are those songs he sings those kind of political oh the parodies oh yeah yeah I wonder how that CD's doing yes go ahead Jeff <laughs> yeah I was just wondering uh, you've been on this air for what two hey why do you start an hour early, late anyways now real quick because I, I want to sleep in I want to sleep in ah uh, figure you out in California I yeah yeah I'm out and get very up. early yeah it's very very uh, well early. you've been yeah. on the air for two and a half hours now you had about what five or six really shitty guests I was yes. wondering how you thank take, you you know that 
shit and you turn it into a shit Sunday that's I, delicious. Isn't it amazing? How do you do that, Jay? Isn't it amazing so, how he so does I've that? So I've taken I've taken shit and somehow for no turn apparent reason you enjoyed the show and you uh, or you could listen and wonder how in the fuck did this guy get so far for so long? Listen, <laughs> I've been wondering that, you know, you know you know that there's luck in the world because there has to be luck. That's the only reason why people that you hate have made it. Well, so so but that's this guy that's is so on to something and and I'll yeah. tell you what I tell you what what sold it for me was sure. uh, we did your afternoon show one week and yeah. your your ISDN line went down and you yeah. called in on your cell phone and you did two and a half hours of the three hour show on your cell phone and you're yeah. interviewing these shitty guests that we always have yes. but but you're picking up hitchhikers in your car along the way you dropped yeah. off your dry cleaning like it, while you're interviewing these people and it was that's so right. fucking funny it was that's hilarious that's the, it's the talent right. I have that's the talent I have by the way our next real shitty real Jeff uh, guest is Curtis Wolf <laughs> of who can I sue hey. dot com yes I'm sorry go let, ahead Jeff now let me just say uh, before I go here I gotta unhook my truck here I'm loading propane but I just want to say hey, fuck you mm. Mark from Boston <laughs> all right there yeah. you go thanks a lot thank you very much I like that our callers are at war with each other <laughs> uh, Aaron of Boston the Jay Thomas show by the way earlier today our first shitty guest was Art Sears uh, sister-in-law she and for shitty. real she was great and she is uh, Carolyn Hart is going to be singing the national anthem tonight for those of you that are going to the Red Sox game and if you happen you to be listening to support sh our shitty guests go out and give us a yeah she'll know. be there tonight and then give us a call next week either at uh, 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 Sirius Stars 102 or back on the uh, Howard uh, 101 next week. Yes, Aaron of Boston. How are you? Hey, Jay. I'll, uh, I'll keep it pretty quick. I appreciate you taking my call. First of Wait. all, I want to thank you, Matt. You don't need to keep it quick. We're trying to just let the, yeah. the stretch this thing out. You, you guys have saved my Friday mornings. I used to hate when Howard left for the weekend. Um, new fan. I go right to 101 when I get in the car. Isn't that um, nice? Thank you. Surely, surely, I have to admit, I used to hate you. Right. I love you on the show. Oh. New what fan. Is this, like some well, sort of minute. cathartic <laughs> fucking show? Can I just ask, was Boston's it this show? Was it this it show? Boston, that, you're right, JT. Wait. Boston, we've had nothing but Boston calls. You, you hated him, Aaron. That's what Why happens when you have a 10 nothing lead in the first inning. I did. I, I used to hate him. I, I love you. I love you guys on the show. And um, I'd love to say happy birthday to Madison. And right. okay. you can say um, rub my clit on the air anytime. We love oh. it in the morning. Oh. And uh, JT, I... I just got off of uh, uh, iTunes <laughs> and bought all four songs, buddy. Oh, wow. thank you very There you go. Now, there you go. Now, there you there should you. be in charge of our fan site. Uh, yeah, thank <laughs> you. Not the guy who hates us. Right. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Yes. All I right, am like cool. Sting, yeah. son, man. I'm good. Hey, um, oh, man, we did. We saw Sting, son, before before <laughs> the police, and it was bad. Fiction plane, right? Fiction plane? It was bad. It was really bad. Really? And he has the same amount of guys in his band, and he kind of looks like his dad, but... You know, it was bad. And I'm just like JT. I can't sing either. So, you know, it's, it's all been hereditary. It's all hereditary. Thanks a lot for getting that. All right. My pleasure. Hey, it's the Jay Thomas Show, and it's Howard 101. Football Sunday. Yeah. I like that song. Football Sunday, beers and girls and touchdowns. Yeah, they rule my world. Football Sunday. Stadium. I'm a frostbit freak with a roaring drunk. I wiggle my tongue at the cheerleaders. I say, come on, Brett Favre, stick it to the Steelers. Load up my cooler. And girls, hey! Howard 101. It's the Jay Thomas Show. Call 888 Stern 101. The Jay Thomas Show on Howard 101. Around the world. Uh, 
Tank and up your block. It's Tank. I just got this. E- Wake up. No more bullshit. This is it. It's a revolution. This is a Howard 100 News Brief. I'm Ralph Howard. Is it possible? A revival for the Jesus twin after a family tragedy. It's Howard 100 News Exclusive. Howard 100 Exclusive. That's a terrible thing, you know, when any, you know, young person, um, you know, his life is cut short. Renowned music industry executive Harvey Leeds reacting to news that one of the Jesus twins, whose music Leeds actually listened to on the Stern Show a decade ago, had been shot and killed by police in a standoff last week. I got a message in my office yesterday. Leeds getting a phone call Wednesday from Andrew Leibowitz, the Jesus twins' older brother, Leibowitz, seeking to get their music career going again as a tribute to Eric. I'm going to return Andrew's call. I'd be very interested to hear what he has to say. And listen to what uh, music he's talking about. When the Jesus Twins appeared on the Stern Show in the 90s, they actually insulted Harvey Leeds, who took the trouble to give their music a fair hearing. You know, look, they're just a bunch of kids that are completely ignorant that were looking for attention. I don't take anything personally. I'm in the music business. You know, people throw mud all the time. In fact, Leeds and his brother Steve, who works here at Sirius, both say back then the Jesus Twins astonishingly failed to even send a CD of their music to the Leeds brothers after they'd actually requested a copy of the Jesus Twins material. And I never got a copy of their music either. I mean, you know, I've been waiting more than, you know, close to a decade to hear their music. At last, for Howard 100 News, I'm... For traffic and weather on demand, go to Sirius Channels 148 through 158. Hunting down the truth like rabid dogs. Howard 100 News. No more bullshit. When you spot news related to the Stern Show, email Howard 100 News at Sirius-Radio.com or call 877-33-SERIOUS and go to 100 for the Howard 100 News tip line. Another Howard 100 News brief at the top of the hour or as close as we can get. Gas prices are on the rise and showing no signs of dropping. To make all your meetings, you'll have to spend hundreds of dollars on gas and hours stuck in traffic. Great news. There's a better way. Do more and travel less with GoToMeeting. GoToMeeting is the award-winning online service that lets you hold meetings in multiple locations right from your computer. Log on to GoToMeeting.com and start meetings on the fly. Attendees join online and see everything on your computer screen. Give presentations, product demos, training sessions, and more. Hold as many meetings as you want for one flat rate. You'll get more done and feel less of a squeeze at the station. The best part is serious subscribers can try GoToMeeting free for 30 days. Just visit GoToMeeting.com, click the Try It Free button, and use promo code SERIOUS. That's GoToMeeting.com, Try It Free button, promo code SERIOUS. Do more and travel less with GoToMeeting. Try it free today. It's a fact. 40,000 businesses close their doors every month. Attention business owners, if you're getting collection calls, letters, judgments, levies, foreclosures, and don't take action, you could lose your business. However, if you want to pay your creditors, there is a solution without bankruptcy. If you need a loan, if you have tax problems, if you've used credit cards to support your business, you can get help before it's too late. Call Corporate Turnaround now. We'll give you a free consultation, and if you qualify, we'll help get your company out of debt. We offer a plan and a real solution, not just fluff or tapes. Corporate Turnaround has helped thousands of businesses get back on the road to success. Throughout the nation, 40,000 businesses close their doors every month. Don't let it be yours. We could change the fate of your business and your life. Call Corporate Turnaround now for free information and a free consultation. For more information, go to www.helpmybusiness.net. That's www.helpmybusiness.net. Attention migraine sufferers. Do you suffer from migraine or tension headaches? Is the pain unbearable? Do your pills aggravate your nausea? Have you ever wished for faster relief? Well, your wish has finally been answered. It's now possible to stop migraine suffering in minutes rather than hours or days. That's right. It's now possible to stop migraine suffering in just minutes. It's called Dr. Heisen's Headache System, and it will change your life. Developed by board-certified neurologist Dr. Morton Heisen, it's easy to use and clinically shown to relieve migraine pain without pills, shots, or a prescription. Previously available only to his patients, 
Dr. Heisen's headache system is now available directly for the first time. Stop the throbbing. Stop the pounding. Stop the nausea in just minutes with the revolutionary Heisen headache system. Real relief is finally here for all migraine and tension headache sufferers. Call 800-338-6251 to put an end to your migraine suffering. Call 1-800-338-6251. That's 800-338-6251 for real relief in minutes guaranteed or your money back. Call 1-800-338-6251. Again, 1-800-338-6251. Howard 101. It's the Jay Thomas Show. Call 888-101. The Jay Thomas Show. On Howard 101. After all the nights we spent cuddling on the couch. And all the parties I messed up because you didn't feel like going out. And put up with shit like this Tonight I'm making up For what I've missed Oh, should I'm a rock star I'm a rock star Find the J. Thomas Show Hour 101 That's JTX Find their music on um, iTunes Or see them tonight at Arlene's Grocery In New York City And uh, what else? What else? Cha-Cha, 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 Cha-Cha 8 o'clock tonight Cha-Cha from the Wise Guys is going to feed them tonight, and then they'll be at his place in Coney Island. And uh, when you listen to the Randy Owen uh, hit song, the guy that used to be the lead singer for Alabama, uh, JT wrote that. Like, I never broke her heart, so that's going good. And the other guys in JTX, uh, Kevin Wilson, Matt Van, and, and Kerry Weaver. By the way, early in the morning, thank you uh, very much, uh, uh, JT. Um, I'm now... And uh, come see us at Darlene's at 8 p.m. sharp. We're going to try to get uh, Shuley up on stage yeah. there. I'll jam yeah. with you fuckers. I ain't scared. Sure, cool. sure. Thanks a lot, Jay and uh, Howard 101 and all the, all the crew in here. All right, Ooh. let's go to Curtis Wolf from uh, whocanisue.com. Curtis, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Jay? Good. You know, uh, we have my illegitimate son here uh, uh, playing <laughs> today. Could anyone ever sue somebody for, because that's what you, your, your website, could anyone sue you later in life for giving them away? Um, I actually don't know the answer to that, but uh, that's what I, I, like. And I, I don't like know that, that whocanisue.com is actually going to be able to supply somebody an answer to uh Somewhat obscure question like that, but so you're saying that my question was totally off base, obscure, and nonsensical. No, it. But you have the right to ask the question, and at at who can I sue dot com, one of the things you can do is, in a miscellaneous type of area, you can find an attorney who is willing to answer your question about mm-hmm. your area of law that you have an interest in, and mm-hmm. uh, get an answer that you might not have otherwise received unless you ran into an attorney at a cocktail party. Or now, something. let me translate that. Uh, you, what he's you, saying is, is your idea, you're more than welcome to uh, throw sure. your ideas out there, but yeah, they're but stupid. That's right. That's it's fine. Now, by thought. the way, Curtis, would would you ever send? How would you put me down? Uh, how would you like let me down easily? Because you know you're you're going to open you know this uh, who can I sue dot com. You're going to have millions of people uh, who who are going to lay out all sorts of scenarios for you, and your guys, your your lawyers are going to try and give them some general advice to whether they have a viable suit lawsuit or not. Correct. What what we do is we give people information. So if someone comes uh, to the site and they want to know if there's been a lawsuit about a particular type of pharmaceutical drug, they'll be able to find information about about that drug, what's happened, what the claims are, what the lawsuits are, and if there have been any recoveries, what the recoveries are. In addition to that, it'll it'll give them basic information about those types of suits, and then if they go through a path of questions, very short path, they'll be able to find out. Do I meet the minimum requirements for that particular lawsuit? And if they do, then they'll be uh, presented with attorneys who are handling those types of cases in their area. What about with, like, my neighbor or, like, uh, did the guy did something to me or a person did something to me? You're going to get a lot of that stuff, aren't you? Right. We, we probably will, and, and that's fine, but that'll fall into a particular category. And in that mm-hmm. category, then mm-hmm. they'll get an attorney there. One one thing we're not going to do is what other sites do, which is provide a blank space on which the person can write a narrative about their particular claim. For for one uh, very important reason, 
if they give me that information and I send it out to a bunch of attorneys and one of them wants to represent the client, mm -hmm. the problem is they've waived their attorney-client privilege by giving that information to a third party who's not a lawyer. And while I'm a lawyer, my site, my company isn't. So we, we avoid that. We Other sites do that type of matching. We don't. We're, we just allow people to answer uh, yes, no, and click box questions to determine where they fit into a category. Was and, was was there ever a question uh, brought up on the website that you guys thought at first was ridiculous or stupid and then ended up actually the person had a case? Like, what's the strangest thing somebody wanted to sue for? Well, I mean, right, right now we aren't even launched yet. We've just uh -huh. started signing up attorneys on our site to become network members. But so we even, even though we're not launched, we've had people in our comment section put in very long comments about the weirdest things you've ever heard of. Now, like, Curtis, before the government was, is attacking me, what can I do about it? Yes, that's what we want, Curtis. That, now you're there. Like now that. you're with us. The government is attacking me. Spacemen are living at my house, and can I sue them? And all of that. Anderson and, Cooper is trying to yeah, hunt me down. Yeah, stuff like that. Right. right. Yeah. Now that uh, Curtis, uh, uh, I took Viox, and I didn't die, and I had no side effects, and in fact. I was sorry they took it off the, um, market. The, the market. I'd like to sue the people who got it taken off the market because I enjoyed it. And, and millions of people took it and, you know, and a thousand died. Right it was really good. A thousand died. Did more, I mean, isn't there like a percentage of people that, that are affected by a drug anyway? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like out of the millions well, uh, of tickets. Obviously, if you've watched any of the Viagra commercials or anything else, you've seen the laundry list of things that can go wrong. That's why those commercials are all a minute long, because the first 30 seconds is their pitch. The last 30 seconds is explaining all the bad things that can happen to you. And if it happens to be that death is one of them and it happens on a regular basis, you know, then <laughs> it's up to the company to decide if that's yeah. the drug that they want to have on the market and if it right. if it works for them. Yeah, right. I never got that. Like, you, you see a Viagra commercial and they're like, you know, might, might cause club foot and <laughs> eye bleeding. I'm well, gonna, there's one of them. The, the, best one is, the best one is if, they, if this causes a prolonged uh, erection for more than four hours, Seek medical help immediately. That's like a double commercial for them. It's like guys are like four hours. Wow, that's great. <laughs> you mean it? May, so actually, the warning would make people buy it. So then, even though you've been warned and you buy it anyway, and you have this hard on for four hours, then it's then you don't have the right to sue once you've been warned. Yeah, I think that kind of limits your ability. Plus, if you yeah. uh, if they can show that you were actually using it for the whole four hours, then it would probably be less. Uh, right, it wouldn't really be any remedy. You actually may owe them extra money for that yeah, one. Yeah, the hardest thing you sue them to get the smile off your face to right. try and like beat it out of you. Who can I sue? Dot com will be coming online soon. Uh, Curtis Wolf is here, um, and we have some people that are calling with legal questions. I don't know what they are, Curtis. First of all, I want you to know this that that uh, I'm going to promote your website, but but we're just going to listen. All of us together will listen, and we'll just see if we think they have a uh, a lawsuit. You're not going to be held accountable for this. Let's just call it entertainment. And we should let him that? answer last, so we all yeah. give our yeah. Our, we'll our listen theory. and think, and, and we'll listen to see if they have a suit, and then at the end, Curtis. Even though it's probably not what your website is going to do, but on this show we'll try and give you know advice if we can, and you'll tell us if you think we're okay. Curtis, right. can I sue you for not having the website up yet? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Feel Let's free. go to Linwood of Virginia. Linwood, it's the Jay Thomas Show. Curtis Wolf from the brand new website WhoCanIsue.com. dot com. Uh, what is your legal question? Linwood? Let us hear uh, uh, and, and make it you know keep it like you know thirty forty seconds. Give us the you know, the, the the quick story. Okay, very well. I'll be a real brief top of the morning to everyone, and happy birthday yes. to Madison. Thank you. Yes, uh, yes. I'm actually a cab driver, and uh, we have uh, a lot of cars that we buy that are the same car, and one of them is a Mercury Grand Marquis. Mm -hmm. They all seem to have a problem with the automatic temperature control, and when you go to the dealer, they replace it. A couple of months later, you have the same problem, but they're refusing mm -hmm. to acknowledge that it's a defect. Mm -hmm. What are the possibilities there? Wow. Wait a second. <laughs> well, Wait it's second. around it's... 114 degrees in okay, your cab. Okay, that's Ira, the weatherman, who says the cab is... Uh, Shirley, do you think that they can sue... Uh, who makes the Grand Marquis now? A Lincoln Mercury? Mercury? Yeah, he doesn't like the temperature of the Lincoln Mercury. Do you think he has a lawsuit, Shirley? No, I don't. 
I do not. All right. Uh, Madison, do you think he has some sort of class action suit against the, the Mercury? Mm, I think it's just a basic complaint. No, no lawsuit. Yeah, no. No Curtis lawsuit. Wolf, now that's actually, uh, the, he, he's trying to get a lawsuit What's against. What's your verdict, Jay? What yeah, do you think? Curtis. Um, I think, yes, he can sue. Absolutely. All right, yes, Curtis. Anybody can sue, but can he win, Curtis? Do you think it's something you would take on? If if this wasn't just, if it's a Lemon Law case, then he may have a right to give his car, put his car back to the dealer under a Lemon Law issue. Um, mm-hmm. And all these are, are issues that can be resolved. These types of issues can be um, resolved at the website once we're launched. But if it's <laughs> a, if it just wants to sue for the inconvenience or whatever, Unless there's been a recall and enough people have complained, if it's a one-off because of his car, he's probably not going to have much luck because it's, under the, warrant, it's under the warranty yes. and they're fixing it. If it's yeah. if it's something yeah, they're more trying than to that, fix it, yeah if, yeah. if it's prevalent through all the cars, then there probably will lawsuit. end up being some sort of action that he would qualify for. Linwood, are you for, having for, hot flashes, perhaps, and it's not really uh, the... No, again, no. I just uh, reiterate here, everyone who has this car has this problem, and what it does is it will not blow through the regular vents. It'll leave a blow on the mm-hmm. floor, on the uh, dash, and the, even the guys who went back and had the unit replaced, uh, a couple of months later, they end up with the same problems. Well, go to who, when this thing is ready to go, I think this is a good one, Curtis, Who can I sue.com. All right, Linwood? Thank you very much, Jay. Thank you. Or there just you go. go to the oxygen retreat, bang a couple of whores, and who gives <laughs> yeah, that's right. Come back yeah. and forget it. Uh, Jim of Chicago, what's your legal question for Curtis Wolf? Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, mm. I got a, a couple herniated discs from an injury at work, um, and I was uh, refused uh, to fill out an incident report and go to the uh, go to the clinic to get checked out. Um, and since then, I've had to take time off and deal with some other crap and uh i'm kind of on the verge of losing my house because of it as well um i don't know what do you guys think yeah i i think he has a cat i mean that's something if you're you on hurt the job your back you at work his... and they and they what now they wouldn't they didn't have him fill out an accident report they probably didn't yeah, want their didn't. insurance to go up yeah, yeah um yeah that's uh but you know what though and you're gonna lose so so you're gonna have to hire a lawyer and all that and the company knows that you're gonna go broke before you can win the lawsuit right yeah well, you have a suit, but at the same time, uh, Curtis, I, you know what? Uh, is that it? Show's over? It's a good segment. we got to do this again. Jeez. Oh, well, you know what, Curtis? Would, could we ever have you back and do this again? Sure. Especially uh, when, when we launch in September, I'll be right. happy to come back and we can uh, do it and maybe run some people through the live uh, site. Yeah, we awesome. can run them through the site and see. And, and, and we'll, we'll have a disclaimer that, you know, we're doing it for entertainment so that it's not that client privilege thing, you know, which always screws everybody up. Curtis Wolf of WhoCanISue.com. Thanks a lot. JTX, don't forget, go to iTunes and find out his music. My son JT, I'm going to party like a rock star. It's over for us. Happy birthday, Madison. Julie, I'll see you later. Sirius, Howard, 101. RevBobLeaving.com. Going to party like a rock star. Well, the phone is lit up with all that legal shit. A lot of Jews listening. They weren't. Today at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, Howard 100 News, Week in Review at 2 Eastern, 11 Pacific, Super Fan Roundtable. Bubba the Love Sponge is next on Howard 101. Howard 101. It's the weekend, and while you're out on the road, we've got you covered with serious traffic. We've got coast-to-coast traffic reports updated around the clock on Sirius Channels 148 to 158. Don't spend your summer stuck in traffic. Check out Sirius Traffic on Channel. 148 to 158. Why does one person open a business and you go back 30 years later and basically they've made themselves a job, not a business? Another person opens up a business and in 10 years they have 60 locations and cash out a multimillionaire. The difference between the two is not the product of the service, folks. It's the skills and learning curve of the entrepreneur. We'll give you that learning curve for free if you call us at 800-913-0600. I'm Chet Holmes, author of the number one business book, The Ultimate Sales Machine. I've doubled the sales of companies owned by billionaires, done billion-dollar turnarounds, and I've helped millions of smaller companies all over the world. Let me tell you the kind of businesses we like to work with. Ambitious, smart, capable, and interested in becoming the best. Our techniques slaughter the competition, and the minute you learn what we teach, you logically understand why. We teach you the key learning curve that takes a business to a million, then five million, then ten million, then a hundred million, and even on to a billion. Leave us a voicemail with your email at 800-913-0600, and we'll send you nine free reports that are so good you won't believe we give them away. 800-913-0600. You won't believe the intellectual property we give away for free. Time's running out. You're maxed out on your credit cards. The collection calls are coming every day, and now you're two payments behind on your mortgage. 
Every time you turn on the radio, there's some cheerful couple telling you how they got out of debt overnight, their stress is gone, and everything's just wonderful. Come on. The truth is what sounds too good to be true is too good to be true. You need real help, and you need it now. Not bankruptcy. That should be your last choice. We're Credit Card Relief, and we've been helping people just like you for nearly a decade. We're the only attorney-driven program dedicated to helping you get out of debt in months instead of years, saving you thousands, and without risking your family home. We know what we're doing, and we don't make promises we can't keep. The consultation is free, and the relief is real. Get out of debt. Call Credit Card Relief at 866-888-9801. Not available in all states. That's Credit Card Relief, 866-888-9801, 866-888-9801. Have you been putting off getting health insurance because you think it's too expensive or you don't qualify? Now is your chance to get the health coverage you want for a lot less than you thought. With the Synergy Health Preferred Insurance Plan, you can finally have health coverage for your everyday medical needs, including doctor visits, lab tests, x-rays, maternity, emergencies, and hospital stays. Our limited medical insurance plan even covers surgeries with no deductibles and no annual limits. Best of all, with Synergy Health Preferred, you can choose your own doctors and hospitals. And Synergy Health accepts applicants regardless of most pre-existing medical conditions. Enroll today by calling 1-800-209-9589. Don't put off your health for another day. For individual and family coverage, call 1-800-209-9589. That's 1-800-209-9589. 